me think. Let me think. Uh, I'm, I'm, I don't think there are rat people, but like there, there's no reason there couldn't be. Oh, sure. Elephant people. Yeah, I'm sure somebody's yeah. come up with it. Rat folk. There's where there's where rats. Um, I'm not making a where a where rat right now because mm -hmm. that, that would be complicated. But uh, yeah, sure, rat folk. But there's rat folk. I can well, see it happening a, because it seems like Hero Forge is turning everything into some sort of variation yeah. of something. Oh, just give it a human body, change the, uh, what, change the theme. Out of the, I, I sent you a, a your bard. And we've got a we've got a wizard, and we've got a sort of a fighter thing. Thing. Um, I don't know what, what what kind of like what kind of class sort of would the rat person be. I'm almost thinking thief. Like just a classic thing. thief. Thief. All right. Would be cool. Me. I'll make a burglar. I'll make a burglar. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I've got a. Oh, what was the? This was one thing I didn't get around to reading up on was the colleges. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. There's there's lore. There's valor. There's uh, and those are the two in the player's handbook. But there's also um, <clears throat> um, college of glamour i think which is like a fey kind of like hmm. a lot of charm abilities got it um there's the college of whispers which is uh i don't really know what that is um there's a college of swords which i which i always get confused with college of valor because yeah yeah college of valor is supportive I think mm -hmm. you you can it, it improves your your inspiration yeah um, whereas the College of Swords uh, gives you like blade flourishes that you can use your inspiration mm. instead of supporting it right yeah uh, so. so that already handled it for me thank you Goodness. Acrobatics, history, performance, persuasion, and stealth. I'm going to make a copy of the burglar thing. Drag it up. I'm going to change the token because I've used this token a few too many, I think. I mean, it's not. Oh. Copy of Burke. It's really big right now, so. So it's a rat person. I don't have a token for a rat person. <laughs> get, uh, get, get, get a treader from the, the, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. <laughs> I, I wonder if there's like some some nice like watercolor uh, Master Splinter uh, uh, fan art that would that would match the aesthetic of all the other tokens I use. <laughs> you can find like a watercolor Master Whoa. Splinter. Creepy. I, I just found yeah. one. That's creepy as hell though. Um, let me, what am I looking for again? Ah, fuck. I forgot what I'm looking for. It doesn't matter. Uh, let me open up. Yeah. I'm using the wiki dot a lot. Good. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> It's pretty good. I, I don't know. I don't know if we'll use a photo. Well, I have another one that yeah. I was actually thinking of. You have another one? Which isn't a photo. Yeah. One sec. Where is it? Yeah. 
like no way of cutting it out, and it looks like it has a white background, but... I'm going to hop uh, up just a minute. <laughs> you just, that that looks like okay i thought the first one i was looking at the first one i was like that looks like watercolor okay. Ooh, i like that one that last one is really cool i could go for that yeah the first one does look like watercolor Skills, tools, proficiency, bonuses.
What kind of, um, I, I gave, um, I want to give this rat, uh, a, like one very simple magic item, like a plus one something. Okay. And a, a single, like, basic consumable item. Probably a healing potion, but if you have a suggestion. Uh, special item, special item. What about a tail ring like a, that does something? Oh yeah, tail ring's a good idea. Um, I mean, it could just be a a ring of protection, or mm -hmm. uh, can you give him like a plus one short sword or sword? Sure. Yeah, the protection ring sounds cool. <laughs> ring of protection, and I'll give I'll give. Three plus one crossbow bolts. Cool. No, you know what? I'm going to give him a single bolt of manslaying. Ooh, nice. Which will do uh, an extra, I think it's 3d6 against a human target. <laughs> Oh, 
what um what college are you thinking about, Daniel, for uh, your bud? Ballard Ballard College. Uh, mostly because I good don't really I don't look hard enough into the um, the other resources to know additional ones. And of the two the player handbook gives, it's the best that I can imagine for this person. <clears throat> I, I was I was gonna secretly use a picture of Radigan from the Great Mass Detective. Mm, uh, uh, but he's, he's too he's too big. He's a he's a he, he's a he's a he's like a barbarian. Yeah. He's a bruiser. Right. I guess to still use I'll use this uh, watercolor. Uh, uh, you can use the one that you liked, Daniel. Is this your guy? Oh, the weirdo? You liked this last one, right? Yeah, I did, actually. I mean, that is kind of a rat again, right. except he's a little more wily. Yeah. I'll use that. I don't trust him. <laughs> yeah. And you should not. I will eat him. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he doesn't trust you either. <laughs> I'll send my fish spirit after him. One. Oh, let me. I have to download the pictures. Okay. Like far as I'm gonna crop out these turtles. <laughs> I can't crop out the third. There's gonna be one turtle in the frame. Where did I just see that? What's the rat's name? <laughs> oh boy. You can't Snuffles. think of anything. Well, Mr. Snuffles. Oh, go on. Mr. Snuffles. <laughs> go with Mr. Snuffles. I was going to say, if we can't think of anything, go with Rat. Yeah, I, I'm thinking Mr. maybe in, in his, in Radish, he would be. Radish. Mm. No, I don't think I'm going with that. Um, I'll go with Radigan. He thinks he's Radigan. Okay. 
I think he's cute and cuddly, and we'll call him Mr. Snuggles. It's just Snuggles. Rat, rat again, Snuggles. I think I missed up one. Just I've just replaced some. For NPCs, I don't link the NPC to any. I don't have it represent a character, and I don't. Uh, have the attributes represent actual, like, like tie to the attributes on the character sheet. I just punch right. it in the numbers. Yep. So that, you know, because I'll, cause I'll have, I'll use the same zombie sheet for different pains or oh, different right. encounters, and I don't want it to have the health from last encounter. Right. Yep. But for PC stuff, sometimes forget to do it differently. Uh, are you papers. okay with Are you okay with Muffin knowing Infernal? I'm okay with that. And Undercommon? Yeah. Okay. That makes a lot of sense in the in the area. Uh, Undercommon is is the most second most common language. Okay. Except maybe Elvish. I said before that the school of magic. Well, I, that doesn't. I guess that doesn't. You don't have to book it. I was gonna say you'd be vaguely aware of the school of dynamancy, but it's it's controlled by leadership. Most the wizard, the only wizards that can. Uh, usually elves in the. Uh, in leadership position, Korean hmm. dynasty, and it's usually sort of a religious thing as well. Oh, but you're not in that circle exactly, so no, nope. you don't know much beyond that. I guess the uh, book you have is probably in Infernal. It's its fiendish lore. That makes sense. <laughs> Spell attack is five. Wow. All right. <clears throat> Just let that be. That be if you're your level seven, so your proficiency bonus is plus three. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I rolled this up as a level one originally, and then I read back <laughs> and realized seven. Oh my gosh! So, <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> it was a matter of just like throwing in eight more spells that I know. Mm -hmm. A couple other things. Um, I think I've finished. I think I've finished your. Uh, um, you can find the tokens on the lobby. Uh, down, you have to scroll down, scroll down a little bit. Oh, it's fish market on the left. See muffin, undead spirit. Oh, finish up token for 
said great. Okay, I did set up Cedric correctly. I thought maybe I. Had. Um, let me let me see if I can. Oh. Ha. Uh, I'm just setting up so he has a nameplate. Are you able to move all your tokens? Uh, send it. Fish. Yep. Nice. Like studded leather armor Ooh. instead of leather. That'd be cool. Does it cost more? Oh, right. it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How have you been doing? I have a ton of you money. I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, did the, you rolled for you rolled for the money. Yeah, but I also have a ton left over from just buying the basics out of the okay the class. Yeah. So if you can afford studded leather, it would be just an additional plus one. I forgot that it would cost you extra money. When I, when I said, would you like studded leather, I forgot that. Yes. Okay. Seven and five silver. If I've learned anything in the past four months, seven months, it's that you always upgrade when you can. Mm -hmm. Every your, or, it looks like your dagger it should be minus one to damage numbers. Oh, but you can use strength. For, I'm so used to people you only taking those weapons with mm. higher dexterity than strength. It, it can't actually be strength. That's a D eight now. Did you take a did you take ability score increase or feat at uh, uh, fourth level? I thought I took a feat, but I don't see what it was. Yeah. Oh, by popular demand, entertainer feat. Whatever that means. Well, that's that's not a feat. That's you just get that from. The oh, got it, got it. Yep. You're you right. could you could take an additional feat, or you could boost. You've got a lot of uh, odd numbers, so you could like boost your strength and your charisma each by one, and your your modifier would go up for both. Yeah. It does seem... <coughs> uh, that needs to be up to a D eight. Oh, right, I haven't finished. Give him okay. It's a plus one to our class and save.
Um, if Radigan has a... I was, was going to say that the, that is better than the plus one shield, although Cedric does have more in general. I think. Hmm. Uh, but, but it's fair. It's fair. Uh, if, if Radigan does have like a, a wing of protection, can Cedric have uh, two health potions? Yeah, sure. Ah. Or you could bring it up to a to a greater. I think two health potions would be. All right. The bolt of man slaying is pretty. Ring of Protection is actually going to be extremely tedious. Let me think about this for a second. <laughs> so I've just realized I'm going to have to put plus one on everything. There should be a globe. Oh, no. He's an NPC. Oh, Ring of Beast Command, or whatever it's called. Ring. Mm -hmm. I could just give him a, a, a pretend the Ring of Protection only gives him plus one armor class, and it would be the same as Cedric's plus one shield. I missed it, Cedric. Oh, that's. I like the tail ring chain. Cool. That was easier than I thought it would be. Woo! Uh, good, good. Studded versus standard. Uh, <clears throat> 45, so 35 more. That said, I do. Oh, yeah, actually, I might, I might give him the ring of out. I'm looking at it now, and it's it's not actually. What were you about to say? Um, College of Valor. No. Yes. Huh? No, I'm just thinking of. Um, oh yes, College of Valor. I also gain proficiency in medium armor. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes, you do. So you could take, like, if you want to be good at stealth, you could take a breastplate, which is very expensive. It's like 400 gold. Or you can, for slightly more, for like 750. Slightly. You could get, <laughs> you could get a, a half plate. The cheapest good option would probably be, um, might be a scale mail, I think, which yeah. is plus... I think it, I think it's it it's fourteen armor it plus seems, two. I your really like it. Dexterity. Yeah, I really like so you'd, that. You'd have sixteen armor, but I have disadvantage on stealth for that. Yeah, 
which I actually have proficiency in as well. So, go figure. Your options as far as having not having disadvantage on stealth are, I think, I think you could take a chain shirt, mm -hmm. which yeah. would be... Yeah, and I'm thinking... Probably, yeah. Barely better. If you boost your dexterity, though, if you boost your strength and dexterity, then, then you'd have plus three dex. You might, mm. you might be better off with just... Good point. I need studded leather. Yeah. Good point. I also need to look up the feats for what is that um, okay. that ability score increase thingy. Uh, shoot. Oh, sure. There's not that many feats that like boost your charisma. Oh wait, no, you wouldn't be boosting your. You'd have to. I think you'd have to do. Your dexterity is not. I mean, you still could boost your dexterity, mm -hmm. but you'd have to only boost your dexterity. Okay. Right. Perhaps for some reason, just think. Which I don't mind right. doing. Oh, your dexterity is minus one, so you might. You're not going to be good at stealth anyway. You're proficient, but. Right. Maybe, maybe. And you have a. You have a. You have a, you have a thief. True. Yeah. You, you know, right? The uh, scout girl. Yeah, and then your then your AC would be. Uh, do you, you want shields? Do. You are proficient with shields. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Daniel, yeah, I would say if you could afford it, a breastplate wouldn't be a bad idea. Or breastplate is the one that gives you. Yeah, scale mail is fifty gold, and it gives you fourteen AC minus one. Yeah. yeah, scale mail plus a shield. Would... Yeah, that would bring you up to fifteen. I like it. I like it. I'll I'll do that. Yeah. With the shield as well. I don't remember how much shields cost. Ten. Ten. Yep. So sixty gold for your armor. Um. Scale mail plus a shield. Uh, I'll delete out the. I'll sell back the uh, whatever the studded the studded leather armor. Yeah. Oh yeah, but the studded leather's not even that much cheaper. Than scale mail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like five more than scale mail's five more. Good deal. Dragon scale mail. Stop. Stop being distracted. Ooh. Um. Yeah, and any feats popping out at you, or, or um, you boost your ability scores. Your you could have both your both your weapon attacks and spell attacks would both improve. Crossbow expert. Oh man, if I were if I had thought ahead, I thought crossbow would be kind of fun. But I'm also yeah. not, I haven't prepared for Your that. Your dexterity so. is... That's also true. For real. Crossbow expert would be funny. That you like specialized, you spent so much of your life specializing, being really good at working a crossbow, but you can't aim for absolute shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, a couple ones that I have eyeballed as a bard was Inspiring Leader. Mm -hmm. um, but I've mostly been focusing on bumping up my charisma as a bard. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah, because I mean, with a bard, not only does boosting your charisma improve all of your spells and like all of your class abilities, it gives you another inspiration. Yep. Because you have as many inspiration as so. I mean, that's the uh, that's probably. Oh, you mean I the? Mean, um... I don't. I don't believe in like optimizing your character, but like if you did, yeah, probably boosting your strength or as well would be the one. But if there's a feat you like, then that's better. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, you mean inspiration is in bardic inspiration? Yeah, yeah. Yes. You'll get three instead of two. Which I read through For that just now, and that's pretty cool. And again, you can you can boost your dexterity, I mean your your charisma and your strength. Mm 
because mm -hmm. they're both odd numbers. Which one is that? So I'm saying actor is like one charisma. You know? I'm looking at the feats. I'm trying to find the charisma and strength one. Oh, the ones that boost your career? Yeah, let me have a... And I only see actor as the one that boosts your charisma, but there might be others that I'm just yeah. not seeing. Um, actor boosts charisma by one. And there's like a couple, couple other, but none of them are. Yeah. There's any not, any, any feat that boosts a stat is only going to boost it by one and yeah. then give you some other. Yeah. Yep. There's there's more options that boost your strength, which would also be good for you, but mm -hmm. I don't know if any of them are going to be better than boosting. Boost is an ASI where you can boost two scores by one or one score by two. It should also start soon. Yep. Yes. Uh, All right. One last actor. thing I'm changing. Actor. Yep. Actor. All right. So your charisma goes up by one, um, and you do like mimicry and shit. But it was actor. I had a bar once. Did had actor. Uh, increase charisma by one. Again, advantage, advantage on charisma. Deception performance when trying to pass yourself off as a different person and mimic the speech of another person. Let's quickly add those. Whoa. Um, so I added the ring of animal engines to uh, Radigan's already very busy sheet. That's okay. He's he doesn't really have any I didn't give him any like class abilities other than sneak attack. Um so he actually has a bit of options. Did I? Oh, wrong button. <laughs> you have a you have a token for your for for Amila? Uh, <clears throat> not yet. One I might have. have. Okay, I can quickly look one up because I've got a picture in my head. Okay. If any of the of NPCs past, like against the cult fit, then I can just drag them. I've been reusing tokens for, for this mm -hmm. shot. You'll see, you'll recognize. Oh, 
yeah, second one in the list on Google Images. I like that one. Do you want to tokenize it, or should I? I can do it. I've... Just direct it onto the, uh, to the lobby, set it up, set it up with your sheet. Wait, what? I mean, obviously you can set it. You can set it as your as your portrait, but I'll need to help you set up the, the sheet with all the stats and, or Got set it. up the token. Yep. Oh, I saw something for a second. No, I'm. Oh man, I picked the slowest site to oh, that's right. tokenize it. Oh, there's nothing. this computer so badly. So the way I think that this group will probably work uh, is that you, I mean, unless you have other ideas, uh, Amila and Muffin sort of helm this group, all, all, all four of these characters uh, uh, adventure together, and probably Muffin and Cedric knew each other, uh, Amila and Radigan knew each other before Muffin and <laughs> Amila to each other, if that makes sense at all. Mm. But like, when they, the adventuring group has gained a little bit of notoriety, and mainly it's Mila, who, you know, it's always Muffin and Mila, sometimes Cedric and join up. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah, somewhat. Sure. Uh, but yeah, you've you your your name has gotten around a bit. You're from the north of north of this area. You 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 don't generally operate in the Perrin Dynasty. You operate up in the Raying Wildlands, which I don't know much about. Uh, but you're here because there's a lot of work here. Uh, it's it's the population is lower. In the Grand Wildlands, so there's less work there. The the uh, Dwendalian Empire to the to the west, uh, it's really tough to get work there unless you're contracted by the Empire. You two don't want to work under contract like that um, because that's the kind of contract they don't do contracts with. When, when you when you sign up for a contract with the Dwendalian Empire as a mercenary group. You're in that contract until you are let out of the contract. Interesting. Which is possible. You you can you can. It's not too hard to to you know people you've talked to say it's not too hard to mutually end the contract. You just have to go bring it up with with whoever you you were contracted by. Um, it's there ostensibly to prevent you from deserting, which desertion is punishable by death. Oh yeah. But that's all just very intimidating. So you're here in the Kryn Dynasty because the government is pretty lax in this area. It's a sprawling, uh, with one center of power far to the east. So all the outposts are, are pretty. Lax. And at the moment, you are in Asarius, the city of beasts, which uh, is a, a city that's existed for a long time. Um, but it's, you know, in the past few hundred years, it's been an outpost for the, the dynasty, um, ruled by dark elves, but most of the population is a mix of, uh, uh, like, a lot of orcs, 
uh, a lot of goblins. Um, there's some humans. Um, uh, there's even some gnolls, although they're they're uh, there's not a lot of. Them. Um, but yeah, it's 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 uh, kind of that sort of vibe. Uh, so you guys don't stand out at all, really. Um, uh, but you still sort of try to keep your wits about because it. it's it's not the safest of places. Uh, but you're in a tavern. Uh, is uh, is this is this city called the City of Beasts because there's all of the gnolls and what? Yes. Okay. That's sort of it's called Asarius, uh, but it's also known as the City of Beasts. Okay. Um. Up. You're in a ta in a tavern in the city of beasts. You've been looking for work for a while, and sort of having trouble. Uh, having trouble getting any that that seems worth your time. Uh. Uh, but you receive a package from a courier. It delivers a sizable parcel to your table, hmm. uh, addressed to to, uh, to your group. Um, the the uh, the courier says that uh, they are given this package from wandering Goliath. Mm. Uh, wandering so Goliath. To deliver it. Wandering Goliath, sort of a half giant. Interesting. Why would I? Um, okay. They were they were very insistent that it be delivered to. Uh, to this this adventure. Uh, and the courier holds out a hand for a tip. Uh, no, no, it was a, a very. You got anything uh, fluffy? Oh. Or whatever. It's you do. Muffin. <laughs> cupcake. Cupcake. We're going to call you Cupcake. I am Fluffy. Says Radigan. <laughs> Fluffy and cupcake. Oh, wait, no, I'm Snuggles, I forgot. <laughs> um, who who do we contact um, when, if we have managed to get the package to the the wandering Goliath? The, the uh, courier shrugs. I, I don't know what uh, uh, they were on the road uh south of here near uh near Gallarad, but they just wanted me to bring the package to you it was uh, quite a ways away the courier is not a wandering goliath correct no no the courier isn't a goliath okay the it's just courier is uh half work i guess i'm just finding it odd that a wandering goliath couldn't wander his way over and give it to us himself but well I as i said it was uh quite quite a journey to get here from there holds out his hand for a tip <laughs> <laughs> i muffin will like grudgingly reach into his his purse and pull out a, a silver coin and then put it in his leaves the table <laughs> what's the way <laughs> uh do you open the package at the table yeah i think so i'd like to anyway right it is uh full of uh, a mix of gold silver copper pieces um and some trinkets there's like a uh a, 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 sh a short squat candelabra like a brass candelabra there is a, uh, uh, yeah, 
little little trinkets, little little stones, little uh, things that seem relatively valuable. It's just stuffed with things of um, you would estimate about 150 gold worth. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a letter inside. What does the letter say? Is it sealed? Uh, it's it's sealed. There's no um. There's no like stamp on it. It's 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 just a basic sealed letter. Um, is, is there such a thing as a basic sealed letter? Uh, it doesn't look particularly fancy. Uh, and it it has a uh, yeah. It's a it's it's pretty vague, but it's clearly a cry for help. Mm. It says that the town of Galarad. Um, which it gives you simple directions to it. It doesn't know exactly where you guys are. Um, so it's not giving you directions from a but you can get this location. It's not marked on your pretty small town. Um, uh, and it says that their village has been assailed. Plague of undeath. Uh, seeking help of you know, they would be they would be on help of such renowned adventurers as you uh, and if you do not help them well, sure it <clears throat> urges you to come with haste mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty vague beyond that it mentions a scourge of undeath say much beyond But it, it directs you to uh, a point at the s southern point of the wastes near a pair of hills just north of the seat fed river and the western edge of the Vermalock wood. I'm sure all of that makes perfect sense to you guys, just like it made perfect sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> but your characters know where that is. Oh, what do you say, Cedric? Should we go? Should we stay? Who's Cedric? Muffin. Who's Muffin? I thought uh, it was Cedric. Cupcake. Cedric is like, well, I mean, there's not been much work beyond beyond this, so, you know, this is sort of what we're here for, I guess. A little sketchy, though. A little sketchy, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I think, I think, I think Radigan is saying that gold is gold is gold, but I say there's something fishy going here, and I know fish. Do you? Yeah. Well, I know rat. No fish. And I smell a rat. Oh, wait. Of course I do. I always smell yes. a rat. <laughs> I glance over at rat again. All right, all right. <laughs> there, I haven't heard that one before. We make that joke every performance. Every time. Every concert. I get a get up. Yeah. And... <laughs> yeah. I'm always the plant. The audience. I'm thinking uh, Radigan's totally the drummer in my band. Oh, the drummer, yeah, yeah, yeah. He drums with his tail too. <laughs> uh, so your 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 companions are willing to go along if you. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm willing to go. Just as long as we make it back by next week, I can't miss this one gig that I've Close. got. Let's hope we don't wind yeah. up. Caught in a cellar somewhere and chained up and turned into zombies or something. I've got a gig in Baldur's Gate. I need to. I've told all my friends on Baldergram. I suppose you would actually be able to get back to Asarius in a week, in exactly a week, if you only spent one day. It takes like three days to get. <laughs> there. Oh man. And then three days back. So if you manage to accomplish the mission in one day, you might actually get back just in time. <laughs> Which the chances of that with the 
darkness and the scariness of the place that you've described is probably not likely. Ah, well. Uh, you could you could make it slightly quicker if you purchase mounts, and you have a couple options in in a race. Um, you got there's riding horses, there's there's mules, there's burros, there's uh, sort of the common mounts, but there's also more bounders, which are large uh, predatory cats with tusks. Mm. They're kind of like uh, kind of like saber tooth cats, but the tusks come from their lower jaw those poke up uh they're pretty hard to tame you don't really tame them so much it's just it, it, they're challenging to ride but they're fast they're the fastest mount in this region uh, they completely ignore the difficult terrain of the uh the moors and lowland that sounds, that sounds badass and i want to try one like um, you might need three. Could they? While they are big, you've got quite a large. Uh, I mean, usually, usually, uh, tabaxis are pretty light, but this one, this one might need them. Yes, muffin. It, muffin fully, is 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 yeah. quite uh, large. Yes, fully armored. Uh, human I need his own and I'd say that Radigan and um let me try Mila on two oops no, yeah, I, yeah I'm yeah. sorry did you, did you I made a square uh oh okay but I yeah yeah can you can you token is it is that what no I can't my my machine okay I'll slow do, to I'll keep do. up but Uh, yeah, Amila and uh, Radigan can run this. So let me look up the price for that. Right. Oh, it doesn't give you price. Jesus. How much is a riding horse? I'll, I'll put it at the price of a war horse. Okay. Uh, pull that. Unless a war horse is completely. Uh, well, Muffin will consult his his purse. Not horse. a horse. Not a horse. Four hundred. No, I'll put it more like an elephant. Elephant price. Elephant is two hundred gold. Okay, that's. Oh, so, okay. Uh, uh, more bounders about two hundred gold. Mm -hmm. Uh. They take a lot of work to train. Well, what would it cost to have one pre-trained? Or, Wait, can say that again? What would it cost to get one that's been already trained? Well, that's what I'm saying. The the reason they're so expensive is because oh, 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 oh. they have to be trained, and that's that's it takes a long time and a lot of skill. Okay. And a, a lot of a lot of lost limbs. Mm -hmm. A lot of magical healing. Cool. All right. Uh, Muffin looks into his purse um, and calculates that he could afford a a mule, and the mule would just about carry him. Okay. Uh, if we're going mounted. Um, although I'm not sure if a mule would actually carry with a war horse. And, a more bounder, I think, can go. A more more bounder has a speed of seventy, I think. They're very fast, and they they ignore the usually, like a mule, well, like a burrow probably it can also ignore the difficult terrain, but they're not super fast. Hmm. But like a regular old riding horse is actually a little slower than normal in this region. More bounder is not, so you know. The, the the difference in speed between like you are gonna go faster if all of you have riding horses, but like Ooh, that does it, look cool. It's not that much faster. 
yeah, that's essentially. I just looked it up. Looked up the. And plus, you have photo. remember you have uh, an extra 150 gold from the package. Okay. Oh right, yes. Which is yeah, you know, not even enough. For yeah, actually, I made that number up. Let me see if let me see if the adventure gives you an actual. Nope, does not give you. So let's do it. Well, if we're riding, Muffin will go out and get a donkey to ride on. <laughs> <laughs> Got a donkey? Yep. There's the more boundary. Uh, I'll just be using. I already set up a more boundary sheet. It's. Oh, okay. uh, I just used. I just used a wolf token because it. it's already in, in all. But it is a large creature like that, right? It's a large creature. It's a. It's a more boundary. Cool. All right. Uh, uh, let me copy this sheet. Are you Are you purchasing a boundary? Yes, I am. Yeah, I've already. Are you, I've already are. deducted the 200 for it. All right. You know. <clears throat> okay. You want to name your more bounder? Uh, Make it easier. To <laughs> at the moment, my naming abilities are not top notch. Cedric, you can trot along and keep up, right? I guess so, yeah. I don't know if I can keep up, but I can, I can trot. Okay. Good man. Good man. Oh, I'll well, buy you a donkey, too. Here you go. Here's your donkey. <laughs> okay. And, and yeah, if you, with the two donkeys, you can easily also carry any like gear that you have. Oh my gosh, I shouldn't have looked up cat names and then thought of calling the more bounder like Genevieve. <laughs> <laughs> but I would go This is not what I think of when I think of a cat name. <laughs> right. That's what they call a classic cat name. Yeah. Which I'm like, really, I've never heard a cat called that. Okay. Are you able to see your more bounder? Yeah, I can see it. Okay. Uh, can I? I just can. finishing up a meal. Is... Yep, I got the character sheet for it. Uh, meal. Meal. Uh -huh. I was just about to say, I can't select my... But then I realized I can suddenly. You have 38 out of 31 health. Do I? I should have 38 out of 38 because I have one more okay. constitution point that I didn't count on. So let me go ahead and up that as well. You have a, do you have a shield? I do. You have a, I added that to the sheet, I don't think. I thought I did. Oh, I don't see it. No, you don't because I think you add, you probably added shield proficiency. Uh oh, I do that some. Yeah, that would make sense. What you do have? Yeah, shield. Animated shield. Yeah, that's what I did. Cause I, yeah, that's exactly what I did. Cause I recognize fire shield proficiency. Or spell or something. 
Which that said, did I add the spell? I probably should take that Give out. The blue. Thanks, like that. Almost a tough Rocks. Jinx. Axel. Ooh, Axel. That's a good name for this. Axel. <laughs> Amela, we, we we've been working together for a while, but I what what drove you into into performing? Uh Okay. The, I have an idea in mind. Uh, rough childhood. I had a rough childhood and I needed to, some way to express it. Um, okay. Not quite an orphan on the streets, but close enough. Largely ignored. I'm not trying to edge lord or be a goth or anything like that. But. <laughs> so you channeled that. I channeled uh, it into my music. Into all of that, and I, you know, don't, I don't try to brood, but I try to encourage myself through my music. And it's my hope that I'm trying to do like a radio interview. And it's my hope that through okay. my music, others will find that they too. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> on and on. Okay, we got we got Team Donkey and we got Team Saber Wolf. <laughs> more Bounder. Cool. More Bounder running circles around the donkeys, making them uncomfortable. It is going to be a little, little... When you camp, you're going to have to keep them on opposite sides of the camp. It's going to be a, <laughs> somewhat of a challenge to keep those cool. donkeys alive. Cool. Cool. Wait. You feed the more bounder well. That's the that's rule number one. If you don't want to get eaten, right. okay. Keep it keep it fed. Well, as we are want to make the similar jokes, uh, Radigan's always up for um, volunteering for that position. Being feeding eaten. feeding the more bounder. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, right against a little bit out of his element here, surrounded by abnormally large uh, cats. <laughs> <laughs> Although it is a little satisfying for him getting to ride the cat. Oh, yeah. Who's in charge now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, your spell slots aren't set up. Come on. Oh gosh. I figured that. It's, I mean, it's just. Oh, I've, I've got them. I just need to. Yeah. Four, three, three, one. We would have remembered it this combat in. All right. You've gotten your mounts. Uh, I'm not actually going to worry about rations. Yep. So that you bought them plus spent some gold on them. I need to add Firebolt as a cantrip real fast. You probably have a tent because it rains a lot in this area. Mm -hmm. It's cold, it's windy, and it rains. Yeah. Oh. Anything else you want to purchase while you're in town? Uh, you have, if you have any extra gold. Just now you may not. Actually, M muffin will muffin will sadly jangle his almost empty purse. Mm -hmm. Um, I need rations. Yeah, we'll say we'll say, we'll say that Cedric and Radigan have enough gold on them to handle the rations in the tent, the standard adventuring gear. Mm -hmm. 
thank you for, for hand waving um, that. Yeah, yeah. Because I think it makes sense because like they would be contributing to the pool of gold somehow. So I'll just I'll just say that they have enough gold for that and no more. Mm -hmm. Whatever the sort of standard trick if you wanted to get climbing can still add a lot of stuff. But if you want any more healing potions, see that's gonna Um, and, and I'll let them pay for the for the horse feed as well, and for the more bounder feed, which is quite expensive, because mm -hmm. they won't eat salted meats. So you'll need to need to get stuff in the drink. Yeah, slowly, fully. Journey. Oh, cool. Travel to Galgarad. Journey from Asarius to Galgarad is about 120 miles. That's the Gloomstalker flies. Uh, however, characters with mounts uh, may wish to follow the road south for 80 miles, traveling to safety, uh, which cuts five miles off your journey through the wilderness. Um, the wilderness is of well, it's seventy feet every six seconds. <laughs> no, no. Well, like factoring rests and all that, um, you're you're traveling at you're not traveling at more boundary speed as well. You're traveling uh, at mule speed. Uh, dang. Okay. Um, <laughs> Which I'm gonna put at about 24 miles uh, in a single day. Okay. I think you're probably not going that much faster than than walking speed, but, but you're avoiding a lot of the delays and stuff that traveling foot through Jorhas would. Yeah. Cool. So I'm gonna put you at like a normal walking pace. Um, so for the first day, let me get my dice because I forgot my dice. Mm -hmm. Is yet that your undead fish? Sean? What? Is that your undead fish? Yeah, I love the fish. I, I genuinely love that picture as a, like a summoned ghost, even aside yeah. from you being a tabaxi. Yeah, 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 me too. It so, reminds me, you know what it kind of reminds me of? You, you, you guys haven't played never right? uh, like Inuit uh, folktale video game? No, I no. don't think so. Okay. What's it called again? Called Never Alone. It's it's pretty never good. Alone. Like it's not a great Yeah. Oh gosh. It's like a little a little a little Inuit child. Uh, oh uh, no I... boy fox. Right. Oh I have that on a list, I think. Like I want to play that. That's like on my wish list. My one of my Steam wish. I think it's pretty good. I, I, it's not like an. It's not you know. It's not like a top tier platformer, but it's much better than like you would kind of expect from mm -hmm. that kind of, like the focus of the game would have been just the like story and just the like uh, the art style and stuff. But they also do make some pretty interesting platform. And it's not too finicky. It's not too glitchy. There, there's some stuff that's a little annoying, but but as far as like mechanics go, but I think it's pretty good. It's a pretty. It's, a, it's definitely a solid level. Yeah, yeah. And the the art style is beautiful. Uh, the whole thing is narrated in Anuktitut. Oh wow! Um, cool. Got like this old old <laughs> this fucking ancient ass uh, 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 Native American guy huh. narrated. Uh, Narrating this whole cool um, Inuit folk tale. Uh, uh, it's very, it's, just, it's very like tonally interesting. Mm -hmm. um, and the story, being an old folk tale, is ridiculous and doesn't make any sense, um, which is fun because the game doesn't really engage with the fact that the story is very, very bizarre. Mm -hmm. uh, 
is always kind of fun. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to send a picture of the, like, the, uh, uh, Aurora, like, spirits, the sky people. That you have to avoid in later levels of the game. Okay. There we go. I love the sky people. Oh, cool! Yeah. Oh, that's weird. And then the, the good versions of the sky people. Hmm. Look like. Ooh. Wow. Huh. Oh. Oh. Look really the really gorgeous game. Yeah. This re the the, the the art style sort of reminds me of Trine. But not quite. It's familiar. Trine is yeah, Trine is a is a really pretty one too. I wouldn't say it's Oh, yeah, yeah. Trine looks kind of like, uh, kind of like, uh, maybe it's just because it's purple that it makes me think of, um, uh, the platformer, the, uh, the, the, the platform fox thing. I guess that does not narrow it down. Oh, um, no, I think I know the one you're talking about. Oh, gosh. They made a new one fairly recently. It's apparently All right. But it's very purple, which is <laughs> no. Trine was uh, beautiful art-wise, but it, for some reason, it just didn't really play well, in my opinion. I couldn't yeah. get used to it. But super pretty. Anyway. Uh, oh, little Ori, Ori, Ori in the blind forest, and the new one's Ori in the wilderness. Hmm. Which apparently, Ori in the Willow of the Wisp is like really, really, really good. I haven't gotcha. played it. If it's going to be rainy and wet and camping is going to be a real bugger, yeah. um, Muffin will uh, set up Muffin's tiny hut. Yeah, uh, <laughs> there you go. So you actually, if you don't want it, you don't need to have a tent to carry it. And if you've got Muffin's tiny hut, um, that'll fit everyone. It won't fit the mounts, but maybe that's a good thing. Yes. Um. <clears throat> but uh yeah, it, it at least keeps the the humanoids dry. Amila will fit anywhere. Radigan's small, he'll fit anywhere. I think he's small. Um and uh hmm. Axel does what Axel wants. Why don't you make a uh, just make a charisma check? Amela, for, for your experience buying the more bounders, seeing as they help you in terms of sure. more bounder knowledge. Mm -hmm. Those are some scary looking dogs. The, uh, the, the more bounder trainers are all goblins. It's run by a, a goblin, uh, any sort goblin of like den persuasion that I can use, or is it just straight up charisma? I want you to roll charisma, but if you're proficient in animal handling, I'll let you... Oh, I am not. <laughs> perfect. Okay, then then it's just it's a charisma roll. Yep. yep. They give you the more bounder. Like, it's fine. Just, just feed it well. Okay. It'll be fine. Uh-huh. Okay. Cool. Uh, don't fuck with its ears, they tell you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I mean, they they fucked with the the one weird cat and don't, creature and do Avatar, not so. do not absolutely do not ever touch its back leg. Uh, okay. It will be the last thing you ever do. <laughs> <laughs> you touch one of its back legs. All right. That's it. Man, now I'm really <laughs> curious. I kind of want to try it. But I'm not going to. 
Um, I mean, it's just like a normal cat, except it's gigantic. And so your first night on the road goes uneventful. Um, you meet some people uh, traveling along the road between smaller villages. You see a, you see one of the horizon back tortoises. There are these enormous turtles that that stomp around the wastes that uh, goblins like to live on. You see one of them heading towards the city of Asarius. Mm -hmm. um, do they do they have like little uh, goblin cities on their back? Yeah, they have like a little like a little like a little shanty town. A little cool. Pull together structure. Yeah. Top. Less of a city and more of a large household. Uh, Your second day, once you leave the road and start heading uh, into the moors, it, uh, it's a little bit more slow going. Um, your moor bounder gives you a little bit of trouble uh, during the day, uh, but you're able to uh, keep it going. Um, do make an animal handling check to just make sure you can keep it away from the mules. Okay. Might we need to go out hunting? I kind of stare mm -hmm. up at this thing and I'm like, we really, they told me to keep it fed. Is keeping you do, this you thing do. fed that easy? This thing's gigantic. You, you do have a large um, dried like leg of an, of like a, and you're not sure what kind of animal it's from, but you have some kind of dried leg that uh, it looks pretty nasty, like it's been dried without salts, and so you probably don't want to eat it yourself. Mm -hmm. But uh, apparently it's good for the moorbounders. Um, and so you, you were instructed to, you know, cut cut so much off of it every day, um, and it should keep the moorbounder going for the journey there. Okay. Sure if it'll be enough for the journey back. Uh, you, 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 you give it the, the the suggested amount and it keeps it satisfied it doesn't got it you know, it looks over at the mules occasionally but you steer it away it doesn't fight you no 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 get back here third day you can see the uh edge of the forest starts to approach and uh as you're nearing the tree line uh that that uh heads into the more kind of wooded high ground uh, towards the hill that uh, Galarad is on. Galarad, Galarad is on top of a hill and there's forests surrounding it. Um, uh, when you're nearing the edge of the forest, your moorbounder starts giving you a lot of trouble. But it's not heading for the mules. It's, it's, it's sniffing at the air and kind of scratching at the ground and kind of getting low mm -hmm. and, and lagging. It's not, it's not moving as quickly. Uh, Tell something from home. Cat, Fluffy, Muffin, Muffin. What? Does this thing look like it's uh? What is what is the? You're a cat, right? This thing's kind of cat-like. What do you call this behavior? Uh, I I might say it it fear, but um, can I make any kind of check about that? Yeah, make a make an animal handle check. It's definitely, it senses something that you guys don't see. Both of you make a perception. Sure. That's not the right character sheet. Oh my gosh. And see, Mila's. Finn is distracted by a stray scent of fish he smells. Uh, Amila is also <laughs> distracted by the scent of fish and kind of screws up her face about it. Oh, sick. Who's eating fish? I hate fish. I mean, no offense to you, Fluffy Muffin. Cupcake. 
Uh, should Cedric and um, Vatigan make perception checks as well? Nope. Okay. I'll just have to sit in this okay. uh, while I set up the battle map. Alrighty. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it ends up being glubbers or whatever those things were called from the reptile Bully god. Wolves? No, the reptile god creatures. Mm. Uh, the lizards. The lizard. Mindless lizards that stank. What do you call them? Oh, gosh. Troglodytes? Yes. Troglodytes. I'm just going to use the horse token for. Cool. Where's the horse? Show me the horse. There's the horse. Radigan comes over and says, you know, the best way to keep your gold safe is by converting it all down to copper. You carry more, but you also lose less per handful. Okay. Yeah, I'm, gonna make, I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna change the stats of this mule a little bit to fit the setting. It's, it's a it's a tougher area. It's a little bit of a party. Oh, what's the mule's name? Oh, I don't think Muffin gave it a name. Okay. So, one unnamed mule. And then, uh, Cedric named his mule, uh, I'm trying to think of a fish. What's his favorite fish? Sturgeon? Ooh. Bass? Bass. Yeah, yeah. It's a bass. Sturgeon uh, makes good caviar, I hear. Wait, Cedric named his mule Bass? Sure. Unless you've got a better idea. <laughs> I love it. That's a great idea. So, uh, I, you're looking around and you don't see them until they start moving again. They're fairly similar color to the surrounding area. Very good. Um, your mules start freaking out uh, as well. Uh, that fishy smell was the breath. Several more bounders. Oh. A small pack of more bounders has managed to surround you, uh, and they're closing in. Two of them are larger, and, uh, <laughs> spikier than the others. They've got like porcupine spots poking out of their fur. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Roll initiative. Okay. I'm not doing a surprise round for them. It was just whether or not 
got searched. They're surprised around. Got is... Yeah. Yeah, I'm not doing a surprise around. It's just like if you had detected them, you would have gotten to position yourselves. Uh, but because you didn't, I get to position the war boundaries instead. Do I mount share our initiative? Uh, if you want them to, yeah. It would be simpler. Say they share your character, your main character's initiative. Or I guess uh, the Bass can share Cedric. Does that make it more complicated or something? No, that, that, that. Ooh. They rolled good in there. Muffin rolled good in there. Radigan rolled good in there. Wow. Good initiative kind of all over. Except for me. Uh, damn. Except for... <laughs> really? Yeah, I mean, good initiative, though. Like, it's, it's across the board. That's always fun. Who has the higher dexterity? Probably the more boundaries. Or, yeah. Do you want Axel to have its own initiative, or do you want it to go on your initiative, uh, Daniel? Do you want it to Axel, go on a man's um, initiative? Probably should save it. Yeah, let's save him. Let's put him down. What does that mean? Let's go. Uh, let's go on a initiative. Uh, there. I'll just remove him from the initiative order. Okay. Um. Okay, so first up is the bristled more bounders. Um, they're going to close in on Axel here. And uh, this one is going to try and This one's gonna attack Axel. Okay. Twenty-four to hit. That misses. So, Axel, the more bounder, takes six slashing damage. It just sort of, as it runs. Oh, you want me to wait? Do I want to run away? Huh? What? No, sorry. I'm just. So this is okay. This is towards Axel, the more bounder. Yes. It, uh, Axel takes uh, six slashing damage. Okay. And it's an 18 to hit. Uh, takes nine slashing damage from Claw. The other more bounder is going to take both of its attacks to try and shove you and Radigan off of. Uh, more bounder. All right. So first shove uh, against Amila. Amila needs to roll uh, a strength or dexterity check. That Better. that is a saving throw. I don't know if that's correct. Yeah, it doesn't matter though. I think. I mean, you. Well, it uh, is because I am. I am proficient with dexterity. Saving oh, you're proficient in, in dexterity saving throws. Okay, yes. so yeah, it would be it would be either acrobatics or athletics. Ah, and if you're not proficient, I don't know. If, Make I don't that know. an acrobatics. It's the same exact thing. I've got that. Okay, but except you're not proficient in acrobatics. Oh, you are proficient in acrobatics. Yes. So it's the same. Okay. Yes. I was gonna say I was gonna bring up uh, jack of all trades, but ah, you are proficient. So. That's still a failure. Uh, so you're shoved my feet off of. There's Radigan's check. My feet off of the. Uh, right. 
Radigan's yeah, let me see. <laughs> yeah, Radigan stays aboard. All right. Uh, next up is Radigan. Yeah. What can he do? What can't Radigan do? Well. <laughs> All right. Oh, cool. He's got animal influence rings. Yeah, so he's with that, he can either... He's got a couple options. He can't, like, dominate a creature. He can right. charm one. Mm. Uh, or he can cast fear, which targets several. Yeah. And he can only target beasts with it, which includes founders. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he can... Oh, fear is a cone. No, it's a radius. Each creature in a... Th no, it's a cone. That's <laughs> confusing. So it's a cone. 30-foot uh, cone. Or he can do... Uh, speak with animals. Mm. Animal friendship, fear, or speak with animals. Yep. Or he can do... Uh, He could probably, I think he could do sneak effect on either of these. This is within my feet of info. Okay. Just looking him over. Hmm. Yeah, let it. <laughs> Let's do use the animal influence ring. Um, Which feature? We've got three charges on it, but if you did the cone, um, it's a thirty-foot cone, so couldn't reach any. Uh, you could reach. Uh, couldn't reach both of these, but I think you'd be able to hit both of these two. I think you'd be able to hit the bristled. Mm -hmm. Or bounders if you wanted to be able yeah. to both of them. Yeah, let's give that one a shot. All right, so how does that work? I read fear. You project the phantasmal image of a creature's worst fears. Uh, each creature on a 30 foot cone is seated on a wisdom saving throw. Possibly. Five and a natural 20. So this one fails. Bad. What does he have? This one succeeds. He has a plus one to wisdom. No, plus zero to wisdom. So. Yeah, the the bristled more bounder has one. Uh, uh, Muffin has actually uh, foreseen that the other one will get an eleven. Nice, nice. So they both fail. It has been foreseen. <laughs> uh, so much fun. I, I miss playing. I miss playing a, a divination wizard. It's really fun to just say like, ah. Uh, <laughs> it's not even like it's satisfying to make the DM re-roll. It's even more satisfying <laughs> to just tell the DM what they want. Right. Rolled. Right. <laughs> Actually, that was a natural twenty. <laughs> Uh, actually, that was an 11 in this case. So, unless your DC is 12, it failed. Uh, so, what does that do? While frightened by this spell, the creature must take the dash action and move away from you by the safest available route on each of its turns. Cool. Damn. Yeah. Creature ends its turn. Yeah. Yeah. Must take the dash action. It doesn't it can't even take the disengage action. It has to take the dash action. Very cool. Very, very cool. So they... that's the end of Ragan's turn unless he's doing anything else. Uh no. 
no, that looks fine to me. Staying on Axel. Mm -hmm. Muffin. Okay. Uh, yeah, Muffin will let out a meow of surprise <laughs> um, as as these uh, big cats start to circle in. Um, but he will reach into his component pouch and pull out a ball of sulfur, and will batter around for a bit. Will fireball these two over here. Oh. All right. So they make dexterity saving throws. Another stats one. I got to know the stats of everything really well and against the Call of the Reptile Guide because it was all the same enemies. Mm -hmm. So I could just roll with my actual dice and just remember what their bonuses were. Mm. Um, I don't really have that right. Same as before, basically a four and a natural 20. Okay. So, so success and a failure. Um, you want to make that four into a natural 20? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> So this one up here takes 33. This one's dead. <laughs> this one takes uh, 16 fire damage. Um. Going to kind of circle, yeah, Tedric. Tedric, uh, we'll just kind of circle all that around Cedric and urge Cedric to protect him. Um, and uh, that's that's it for Muffin. All right. The fire uh, quickly dies down. Rain. The more bounders uh, are still gonna rush in. They don't quite know just how bad things have turned. Um, this one's gonna rush in too. Here, um, gonna make an attack at each of you. Oh, and it only gets one attack, right. So it's gonna leap at uh, Cedric and his mule. Um, it's a 17 to hit, which does not hit. Uh, so he pushes it off with his shield. He's holding it down, trying to stay on his horse, or his mule. And what does Cedric do in response to that? Oh, hold on, I forgot there's two other more vectors. This one is going to go for the one who's on the ground. Of course it is. Uh, it's going to attack Camilla with advantage. 24. Uh, that's just... That's 17. Wow. One seven. Uh, you said a 17? Sorry. It's test digging into your shoulders. Twenty. Uh, this one is going to try and leap and shove Radigan off of the horse. So Radigan needs to make another uh, strength of dexterity. Yep. Athletics or acrobatics. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have to be much. Yeah, that's a success. Cool. So he stays. He stays on. So what does Cedric do? Uh, Cedric is going to take a swing at um, the the wolf that just tried to attack him. Mm -hmm. Miss. Oh. Miss. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, those big tusks in front of its in front of its face. He keeps hitting the tusks. Sure, sure. Okay. Uh, Cedric is just gonna stay here because he wants to protect Muffin. Uh, okay. 
Amela, you're on. Yep. I was getting in the way, trying to bite at you, or you'd be dead already. <laughs> well, maybe not. Be close. Mm -hmm. Sheesh. All right. Well, I am already quite good at stuff. Let me think. That's a bonus. I get two attacks because I am level something. And you can use half your movement to stand up. That's right. You stand up first? Yep, I am standing up. Right. And I'm going to firebolt the one past Radigan to the south. The this one? Or yeah. This one? No, the, 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 this, this, one? this guy. This one? Yep. Okay. It takes me a couple seconds. I kind of look around semi frantically. Right, there finally is, just decide on that. There is a big more. You might have to move because there, there is a giant uh, more bounder in the way. True. You, I'm going to give it some cover. Uh, Am I you could either move and, and avoid the cover. You could target this one instead, or you can uh, take take the shot at this one with with a little. It'll it'll only get plus two to its armor class. From the cover. Okay. okay. Partial cover. Uh, let's go for the other one then. I, I'm looking around frantically, right. basically trying to find the best shot and, and see that yeah, one. Yeah. So, last second choice, I fire at that one. Uh, All right. Ranged spell attack. Oh my gosh. All the rolling. Hmm. I think if you click on Firebolt, it should do the attack. You clicked on the speech bubble, which puts oh, your restriction, right. but... Yep, you're right. You need to click on the text. There you go, that hits. Oh, they added a... I haven't seen that before. It says show spell description right below. Huh. I can click on that. Cool. Oh, shit. It just posted the description. <laughs> right, that one takes 10 fire damage. And I guess fire another. It seemed to work. I like this one. Just as a second. Oh, uh, I don't think you can do two on a uh, turn. Is oh, no. is this part of the? Your level, your level seven. So it does two. It does two d. It's not like yeah. It already did the, did the extra damage because you rolled two d ten for the. Damage. Yeah. What about the extra attack for it's being College like... of Valor? Oh right. Well, so that would have to be a weapon. You can't cast two cat. Can't. Okay. I can wade in there and unsheath my little sure. rapier. Would you say what? Uh, you do have a bonus action. Though. That I do. Mm -hmm. But I think I only have the I'd bonus action. You, I'd to offer cast you to change your mind. And I'd offer I'd offer you to change your mind and do the weapon attack since you didn't know that, but but you did it really good with the fire bolts. I think. Yeah, I'm fine good. with the fire bolt. That's I like it. Um, anything with your bonus action? Uh, or is that the end of your turn? I would like. No, well, let's just see here. I need to look at something. Yeah, your your bonus actions. The only things I can think of would be. You have your Bardic Inspiration, or if you took the Healing Lord spell. What is Cedric's HP? Cedric's what? Hit points. Four. Yeah. Or how he's... Okay. <laughs> that's, that's enough. Um, yeah, I am going to take... Has <laughs> I am going to take a bonus action and um, cast the... cast the Inspiration over on Muffin. All right, Muffin is inspired, and this inspiration is a little different. You get to uh, you get to do some extra stuff. A yeah, lot of, a lot of cool. extra stuff. And then you can add it to the damage uh, if you make a weapon attack. 
Um, or use the reaction to add a speed. Oh, oh, yeah. Cool. Wow. I... And it's level okay. four, so it's a D8, not a D6. But you only have Ooh, one. So Muffin's like virtually unhittable right now, because even if he does <laughs> get hit, uh, Cedric will nullify the damage pretty much. Right. Cool. He wasn't paid to protect a melee, though. So. <laughs> Thank you, little bud. I give you a salute with two All right. fingers. So that's the end of your turn. Mm -hmm. The bristled moorbounders will use their action to dash oh, away. Just, can Axel run first? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, it's on your turn. Yeah, yeah, what does Axel do? It, it, he can attack you. I would say he's going to attack, yeah. Oh. It's one attack. Yep, I'll just I'll, I'll I'll see that yeah he'll see that firebolt hit the one, and just kind of take All advantage right. of the situation and go in to try to swipe. Make an animal handling check because this is a more bounder. I just realized. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make an animal. I'm gonna make you do an animal handling check every time you command it in combat. All right. Yeah, I might have been hasty buying this thing. Hey, there you go. So it can make it can miss one claw attack. Cool. All right. Now it's the bristled more bounders, and uh, Axel can get another attack of opportunity against one of them because they're not disengaging; they're dashing away. Okay. It's that's a good way. Gonna dash this way. Slash. There we um, go. You're gonna dash behind the tree line. They can make it far enough to where they're out of sight of you. Um, they're gonna run to the tree line. They're on a full, a full uh, seventy times two. Do they survive nine slashing damage though? Yeah, which one was that at? Was that the one that's already damaged? Probably the same one. That's the one he's focused on. All right. So that one takes another. Yeah, it's still alive. Okay. Um, they run a full 140 feet into the tree line. Well, they run a full like they make it like it's 40 feet to the tree line since they have to move away from you. They go straight towards the tree line. It's another 100 feet into the tree line. So they're fully out of view of you, which means, or they're fully out of view of Radigan, which means they do get to save against it since they've gotten out of sight. Mm -hmm. This is the one, the drawback of using super fast enemies. Mm -hmm. They can immediately get away where they can make a saving throw. Yeah. Uh, the end of its turn. Yeah. So they both get to save against it. All right. Uh, the one over here that's been damaged saves, so it's going to be coming back. Mm -hmm. Turn, but you don't necessarily. Rat again. Rat again. It's somewhat rare. The other one does not save, so that one's still powering the shadows. Yep. Rat again. Yep. That's what you said, Rattigan. Right? There's a song about that, I think. If you were just like, whatever I said, Rattigan. Right Rattigan! Right <laughs> You're ruining his sneak attacks. Is Does he have a sneak attack? If he is flanked. He could, yeah, yeah, yeah. An he, ally, he's one. He gets I did write flanks, didn't I? I don't know if that's true. Trying to decide if I want to stick to that. I'm not going to be, I don't know why I wrote. It's the way that it is for normal speed. You, would... yeah, okay. in any of the rounders would be a sneak attack because they're all within. Uh, it's another ally. Yep, because he's going to want to slide off. He cannot see these two more rounders, though. Of course, the ones behind. The ones that ran. The first. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Yep. Yeah. He can see all the others because he's he's. A... Yeah. 
Well, he's going to whip out that sword and go in for the one off to the right of him. Oh, right. yeah, that's the only one he can reach with the sword. Right. Dang. That's a hit. Fucking shit. <laughs> That's why I didn't give him any other, any special abilities because like sneak attacks are enough. Yeah, it is. Damn. That's uh, that's nineteen damage. Yeah. Yeah, he cuts it right uh right across the face, gets behind those those tusks. That hmm. snarls and backs up a little bit. Opportunity? No, just kidding. No, <laughs> not that. All right, muffin. Uh, muffin. Okay. Um. Mark that off. Uh, muffin is going to um see this wolf charge, etc., etc. Cedric. Um, dodging out of the way and not hitting in return. Um. Muffin is going to hit this wolf, or this uh, more lopus. Yeah. Did you see the picture of the more bounder that Daniel posted in Discord? Yes, yes. Oh, that's uh, nice. Mind sliver. Mind sliver. Cool. Which one? Uh, the one to the this one. This one. Yeah. Intelligent save. Ugh. Mine sliver is awesome. <laughs> shouldn't be shouldn't be allowed to cast his shit on animals. It's not <laughs> fair. Oh, it rolled a twelve. Wow. But I mean, that's with minus four. It roll it rolled a sixteen, minus four. What in the world oh. is this thing? Fail. Wow. Yeah, this is from Tasha's guide to Tasha's cauldron of. Yeah. Not a. I don't love the name of that book. It's too close to to Xanathar's Guide to Everything, but it doesn't make yeah. sense. Yeah. Yeah. It's clunky. Xanathar's Guide to Everything doesn't exactly work the tongue, but it works. I think. Um, because I feel like Beholder would decide to write a book of everything. Sure. Even if it's not actually about everything. Tasha's cauldron of everything. It's like it's like an everything bagel. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean cauldron of everything? Yeah, that that's it for muffin. Right. To me, it sounds like Five a fan of Santa Claus. Like, I just want to write one too. Maybe. Um, five psychic damage and what's this other thing? It subtracts one d four from its next saving. So, is there like a headache token? Yeah. The one I used for fear. I'm just going to add the, the skull. Okay. All right. The more bounders are going to. Uh, they're a little. Because their leaders just ran away. They're gonna keep attacking. Um, <clears throat> this is the only one that rolled close to good, so it's gonna like notice that the others ran away, but it's uh, still gonna attack because it didn't roll. It still rolled under ten. Um, yeah, this one's going to shift its attack over to no. Who did it attack? It attacked Cedric last time. And then Cedric damaged it. And then it got a headache. So it's still going to attack Cedric. <laughs> 15 misses. Okay, so at this point, it realizes that attacking Cedric is futile. Um. 
the other one, and it's just going to, in anticipation for that, it's going to shift over to gang up on Amila. Uh, this one is going to oh, pretty good last time. That's a 19. 17 slashing damage to Amila. Frick. This one is trying to squeeze in to attack Amila, but it can't get in. Can't get close enough, so it's going to attack Radigan. Plus Radigan, just attack. 23. Radigan takes 13 slashing damage. Right. Remember, Cedric can use his uh, reaction on other people as well, although he might not want to. <laughs> oh. Anyway, he might be saving it for you since you're here. Uh, speaking of which, it's Cedric. All right, Cedric is going to make his two attack against the the wolf with the headache. All right. Both hit. It's dead. Phew. Grabs one of the tusks and just stabs twice at its head. Uh, and it backs up like when you poke a cat's nose or something, and then just. I just poked the cat's nose, sorry. I had to try it. Amela, you are hurt. Uh, very, very hurt, yes. Man. It's like a third of my health that they're taking out every single hit. Um, okay, all right, uh, am I close enough to the one on the top to make a rapier attack against it? I should be, I'm, as a reach of five feet. A, f a fear attack? No, rapier. Oh, yeah, 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 it's close enough. It was on top of you. Mm. That's the hit. Nine. She will attack it again. Probably miss. That's a miss. Okay. Bonus action or the end of return? Does, does she have a just a generic bonus action or is Bardic Inspiration I, I the mean, only thing she's got? Yeah, there's not really a generic bonus action. It's just bards tend to have a lot of them. It's either right. bardic inspiration or, again, if you took a bonus action spell. Like, right. Uh, like, Gosh, like I should healing. look those up. <laughs> just glance. Healing word is the only one I can... Uh, yeah. But, uh, otherwise, the bristled Norbounder's turn. One of them is just going to cower in the woods and make his saving throw at the end of his turn. It's a one, so this one over here is... I'm going to say this one over here is just gone. It just ran away. It failed at saving throw twice, and it's an extremely fast creature, so that one's just gone. Um, let me look down here. This one is going to move back into the fight, but because it's because uh, it used its dash action to get away, it has to use its dash action to get back. So it's going to dash, and it's it could get into melee with somebody, but it's not going to. It's going to stalk out here within movement range. It's just, just stalking back and forth, noticing that the fight has sort of shifted. But there's still there's still someone who looks pretty tasty and pretty weak. So it's waiting to see if they can get get a meal out of this and run. Radigan. Oh, dang. Let's see if I can... Uh... <laughs> Let's see if I can not switch character sheets really fast. My gosh. Hmm. 
Duh. He has slipped off of the more bounder to make his attack okay. against the one. Um, all we can do is just another sword attack, which is amazing. Which one is he attacking? The uh, the one directly next to him. He's off the more bounder. Yes. Ooh, Axel's looking right. It's just from the first attack. <laughs> Ooh, 24 to hit. Oh my god. That's 20... That's 24 damage? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He cuts god. it down. That's a sneak Yeah. Yeah, maybe I should enforce the flanking roll. <laughs> No, 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 it's fine. Uh, this is fair. You're level 7. So, this is how it goes. Uh, yeah, yeah, he cuts down this more bounder. Uh, um, Muffin. Okay, uh, Muffin, um... Muffin will see that this, um... This big scary uh, more bounder has has come back. Um, yeah, Muffin will reach into his component pack pouch, bring out a little bit of cobweb, and will cast web around Ooh. around the wolf. Cool. Fluffy! People don't use web enough. It's really fun. Everyone goes for uh, everyone goes for grease because it's funny. <laughs> but it is funny, but web it's, it's essential. <laughs> yeah. And I'm, I'm kind of, if there's no tree you, or anything... You would, be aware, you would be aware that it's not going to burn super well. I'm going to reduce the fire damage if you try to... Okay. Fire won't catch as well. Heavy sure. Rain. So I'm kind of, if there's no trees or anything to anchor it to, I'm just kind of laying it on the ground. All right. Um, hopefully it'll... do that. Uh, right, right, right. Text series. We're still... Six. <laughs> so it's restrained. It has to use his action to escape. Uh, it's action. Yeah, a strength check. I think versus my spell save. I mean, I assume. I guess I just assume it's restrained. It's, 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 it's. Yes, it, it would be. That's good. usually this, this sort of thing. On a failed save, the creature is restrained as long as it remains. Yeah. Not Frank Stadium. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then well, Muffin, doesn't matter so it's pretty Muffin will consider that the creature is not too much of a threat anymore and will move to the other side of Cedric. Yeah, you were just out of melee from this one, so it doesn't get a... It didn't think to get into... Um, that's that's it for muffin. All right. Um. <laughs> it's still. I rolled low on the wisdom check, so it's still more hungry than it is uh, aware. How things are turning, so it's gonna. It's just gonna try and bite it. To me. Mm -hmm. That's an 11. That misses. Right. Uh, and then it's gonna it's gonna try backing away, but it doesn't have an action now to disengage. So if you want to take your opportunity attack, you can. I would. I would. Yeah. 
go very far. Would Cedric be close enough to do an opportunity attack as well? Let me see. He would not, because he oh. also didn't think to move. Oh. So it could have. It could have so easily gone over here yeah. during any, any of its turns, but I just didn't think of it, and I guess it didn't think of it because it was focused on Amila. Mm. Makes sense. She stumbles, falls to one knee, is... gives a wild swipe. All right. Runs off into the woods. Cedric. Uh, okay, uh, Cedric. One large bristled Mormount right there. Yes. Uh, Cedric will put away his sword, will move a little bit, um, take out his crossbow, and as they've done many times before, start pelting a bound enemy with crossbow bolts. Um, the 14. Oh, both of them miss. I think a restrained has. Uh, attacked against a restrained creature has advantage. I think you might be right. Uh, is it just melee attacks or. Um, Probably not. That sounds like weird. Restrained. restrained. Uh, attack rolls against the creature have advantage. So. What was the other? Yeah, so both of them hit. Okay. Right? Amila. Amila sees oh, that the coast point. is clear. Oh, man. Hang on. I know I have something for this. Yeah, she's just going to cast Cure Wounds on herself. All right. And I hit the wrong button again. Yeah. At level one. And she is going to grab Axel by whatever harnessing he is outfitted with and try to drag him into the trees away from that wolf right. there, or the more bounder there. So your DC is 14, it rolled a 16 to escape. Um, so it has it's very high strength. Uh, so it goes 1, 2, 4, 5, 6. Uh, wait a minute. Only it takes wow a whole thirty feet of movement to get out of the area, but then it's got another forty feet of movement to bolt away. So it just starts bounding through the moors as they want to do. Uh, if you really wanted to <laughs> leave no survivors, you could try and snipe it with like a firebolt or something. Uh, She'd get one before it uh, dashes the next turn. It's running. Uh, Muffin will will take that shot. All right. Go ahead. Wait. Just ten. Right, because I think the next turn would be out out of a hundred feet. Ooh, can Amila also take that turn? Can Amila also what? Take that turn, another firebolt. Uh her turn would come around. Um after his, but after the after the more bounders though. So not after the more bounders though. You would get another. You you would get one, yeah. She will lean up behind Muffin and whisper, 
Nice idea, Fluffy. And fire her own. <laughs> For another nine damage. Uh, nine fire damage. And. Oh my god. Okay, so the first one was 10. This one's 9. So 19 total. <laughs> and it continues to bound the moors with 8 hit points left. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> uh. All right. I'm going to take a short break before you get into town. About 10 minutes. Good boy. Sean.
so Ah, wrong thing. <clears throat> Yes. The dog. Well, we're having a heat wave here, Daniel. What's the weather like for you? Raining. Well, not oh. quite raining, but it's nice and cold out. So, oh. sorry. I don't mean to brag. <laughs> I went to my um, sister's sister-in-law's house. <clears throat> She's expecting in late July her uh, fourth kid. 
and she just sent wow. she just sent the initials that they have planned for boy or girl because they don't know and they don't want to know until it's born. Uh-huh. And she says, if it's a boy or a girl, you won't know that we're we're not going to give you hints on gender. But the two choices we have, one for each gender, is CSV or LAV. Your guess. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'll pick comma separated variable or light armored vehicle. Those are my two guesses. <laughs> so. But no, her husband just just got his police job like yesterday. He went and took an oath, mm. took his oath or whatever. Or maybe the oath is scheduled for next week or something like that. But they were having their celebration party last night. So we all went over there and had a great old time. Nice. And it was not rainy, but a lot of lightning and thunder out there because they're up in Wyoming which yeah further north they get a little bit more weather How have you been doing I'm back hey hello I'm here mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So that night after the uh the more bounders, uh your your more bounder eats pretty well tonight. Um <laughs> Oh they eat their own camp. kind. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah, if they had time, if if it wasn't such a last minute sort of uh, retreat. They would have tried to drag one of these. <laughs> oh, no. um, but uh, uh, you camp like a few a few hours uh, travel into the forest. Um, the town is still a few hours away when night falls, but you know it's not safe to travel the wastes at night. You're not sure about the forests, but you imagine it's simple. Um, you set up your, your dome protection. And in the night, as you take your watches, uh, you hear distant, very distant screams. Or maybe, maybe it might be, it's, it's, it sure, it sure, it sure doesn't sound like people. It's unsettling. It's too far away, directionless to really do anything about. Okay. Mm. Uh, but the next day, you arrive in town. Um, do we consider that a long rest and all the other? Oh yeah, that's a long rest. Accoutrement mm. that entails. Uh, Muffin is going to re-roll his put and dies. Mm -hmm. Shame you didn't get to use that natural 20. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's like one success on something you're proficient with and uh, failure on something. Yeah. Else. yeah. Not bad. Better than rolling like Sometimes I'll get like an eight and a nine, and that's really rough because that's basically just a, a success on something that you're very proficient on, and it's not a guaranteed failure. Right. So this is good. It's also sad you didn't use your D8 that I gave you <laughs> for 10 minutes. All right. 
Uh, as you approach, you can see the crumbling stone walls of the uh, hill town Galgar. Um, and the, the tops of houses that have clearly already from this distance seen those. The gate is open although it's it's mostly closed but it's open enough for people to, to travel through there are no guards at the gate uh, but you can hear uh, there's some activity in in the in the city so you enter through the gates mm -hmm. uh make a perception check both of you just sort of looking around you can you can substitute you know, one of your one of your uh, companions in the check instead, if you'd like. But I'll, I'll only allow two perception. Right. Oh. Muffin or Cedric. What is that? Perception, perception, perception. Is that Muffin or Cedric? That that was Muffin. I think, I think you have the same perception as Cedric. I should look because I, Amila does not have perception. I don't. Radigan has okay perception. Radigan doesn't have the same perception as Cedric. I like. I like Radigan's so, perception a lot. Yeah, you you can see um. You see a few people about. But they seem busy. Um, very few people for the size for the size of this town. Um, they pay you very little mind, uh, and are uh, 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 yeah, flitting through the streets as quickly as possible. Um, you see several burning, uh, several active fires in town square. Uh, from a distance, they look uh, deliberate. They don't look like like they're spreading. They look like bonfires. Mm. What would you like to do? Um, let's go investigate these these bonfires. What are they? What are they burning? You head towards the town square, and as you're moving deeper into the town, the few people that you see are actually starting to notice you, and 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 uh, yeah, you, you you seem to be uh, the uh, bonfires, piles of corpses. Oh, I suppose you would have smelled from a distance as well. Large piles of. Uh, and with the 19s, some of them look a little abnormal. Their uh, skin is twisted uh, and dried, seemingly not from the fire. And they have abnormally long hair. And um, is there any is there any corpses that have not yet been put on the pile that I could examine? No, but there's a, a, a few piles that are smaller and have uh, ha, are not on fire. There's some there's some big burnt piles. There's oh. actually only one pile that's burning, uh, and it's the biggest pile. It's okay. still burning. Uh, um. Then uh, Muffin would like to go to one of these one of these other smaller piles of lit yet. And kind of examine what abnormality corpse. Right. Um, so I won't have you. I have promised that you'd have a success, an automatic success at some from your book. Oh wait, no, you took the fiendish. Yeah. Okay. So make an investigation. I'd let somebody help you. They, they... No need. Uh, this is, yeah, the, uh, the nails and hair are longer than normal, and they're, the nails are sharper than, um, 
skin around the teeth is pulled back, but not from the, like the weathering of time. It's, it's something sudden and violent uh, changed this body. Okay. Um, and uh, it was killed by weapons. But, but a lot of this, this change that happens to the body. Well, what's interesting, with a 24, you can tell that it was injured, and then this change happened. Then it was injured. So, okay. like, pre and post change, it suffered trauma. Uh, and this trauma is what killed it. So, long claw like hands and sort yeah. of fangy, fangy. Yeah, um, its teeth aren't sharper than normal, but its hair and nails grew like, like a, a full okay. inch or two in seconds. Okay. Um, and it, it, there are other changes to the body as well. Sure. Uh, um, uh, but it's also, of course, been burned. Mm. And then rained. Um, um, Somebody does come by with a wheelbarrow with like three bodies in it. Uh, uh, and then they, they stop and they're like, who's the look at the look at the group view and uh just kind of stand it yeah. first i look sick to my stomach that's about it <laughs> i try not i don't recognize you are you from, do you live in this town uh, hello hello good sir we we actually received a a summons to, um, oh to my God! Oh my God! Oh, 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 oh dear! Yes, yes, yes! Uh, please, please come right this way. Thank goodness! Thank goodness! He, he runs off uh, towards a building, just off, just outside of the square. Okay, I urge my donkey to follow. Just leaves a wheelbarrow of bodies there, and then you look and like Whoa. two of the bodies are these twisted. Uh, things with long nails and long hair, and two of them are just people that have been torn up by weapons or claws or something. Mm -hmm. But all of the all the all the twisted people are still like they're just wearing common clothes. They're still clearly villagers. Yeah. Um. You this, seriously uh, didn't follow him? Come back. It's a uh, young, it's a uh, young elf, uh, uh, a dark elf. There's a lot of them here, this far into the, uh, into the uh, dynasty. Um, leads you towards, and by young, I mean, yeah, you know, probably sixty, <laughs> sixty to two hundred in that range. Um, yeah, leads you toward towards an inn called the Moorbounder. Couldn't think of anything better. That's in the that's in the adventure. Uh, it leads you to the Moorbounder, uh, which is boarded up. It's all boarded up. Uh, in fact, you can't actually get in the door. Uh, so he leads you to the cellar, which is disguised and also boarded, but he can remove the board on that. Are we seriously following him into a disguised cellar, Fluffy? Come back, Fluffy. <laughs> um, it seems fine to me. <laughs> this is normal. Yeah. Uh, Muffin will um, will hold up a candle and cast light on it, um, as he goes down to this cellar. Um, All right. Um, the elf leads you, uh, down into the cellar and then up out of the cellar into the main, uh, into the, uh, call it, the main of the, uh, chairs bar, or what it's called. Um, looks, it looks like you guys are at war. What, what has been happening here? 
basically every night I'll let I'll let the uh, let uh, I barely read this. I'll let Zeph speak. Hmm. She'll she'll tell you everything. Uh, and yeah, there's there are people. There's several people here in the bar. There's uh, uh, barrels of drink and food. It does look like a war zone. They've stocked up this, this inn, which is all the windows and doors. Um, only a little bit of natural light peeking through. Um, uh, and yeah, there's there, there several people in here. Uh, coupled, what looks like the the remainder of the uh, uh, guard of this town, uh, which are all uh, uh, elves, girls. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a Goliath at the bar, turns around. Uh, oh, thank goodness. I sent three couriers. Are you the, are you uh, Muffin? Amila, <laughs> Peter, and yes. uh, rat, rats, 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 You have found the fluffy muffin and company, yes. <laughs> and fluffy muffin decided to come up, come in here at the urging of some random person pushing a wheelbarrow full of corpses. Can I get you a drink? I, the, the, this town is not as hospitable as it once was. I'm sorry, we couldn't give, give you a warmer greeting. And the drink is about what I need after that stomach churning side up above. Uh, she goes back and rolls out a cask of wine. Our last cask, uh, I mean, there's a bit of ale left, but yeah, the tap stuff starts pouring it out and some of the guard comes and gets it too. <laughs> and she tells you the tale of uh, their troubles every night for the past month, uh, or for the past week. Um, uh, there have been zombies, a horde of zombies, bigger every night that comes into town. They're fast, they're strong, they have claws, and uh, when they strike someone down, that person pretty much instantly gets back up and starts fighting alongside them. Uh, so they've been burning the bodies every morning after the assault. They don't, they don't last. Wait, what about the ones with the nails, the hair? Are those zombies? Those are, that, those are the ones. But they, they can change. be killed. They can be killed. And uh, as long as we make sure they're dead, we burn them to make sure. They, they stay dead. I don't know much about these dark arts. Uh, I never knew they were this... They were this powerful. And then and then you burn anyone who died just to be sure they don't. Yes. I uh and not everyone's on board with that, but enough that we can we can get it done. It's a shame. Oh, we'd love to give them a more old burial. These desperate times. Um Her leadership has failed us, so I've done what I can to fill the void. The leadership failed you how? They were turned, or they've just cowered away and ran? You uh, didn't pass the manor on your way in? We passed a lot uh, of things. All we could focus on was the deadness, the death, and the. the meant vileness. to be. We're meant to be uh, led by the the keeper up in the up in the keep, uh, 
get his name. Keeper. Keeper Miram has been uh, neglecting his duties for a long time. I've wanted to do something about him for a while, but you know, the, the guard around looks a little uncomfortable <laughs> at the prospect. <laughs> but uh, he's shown his true colors now in this current crisis. He's hauled up in his manner. Won't let anyone even come to the door, let alone stay inside. So we're hauled up here at the, the only building that's only public building that's managed to stand. Well, with an entrance like that, you'd expect to be able to hide in here a little easier than normal. I wonder... He, he may know more about what's going on. I... How much do you two know about visions? Visions. Portents of things to come. Visions, Muffin will put. Do you believe in visions? In dreams. Oh yes, yes, I, I, I do. I, 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 I see things in my morning tea. So. Good, good, good. I. I okay. Well, Everyone. not, not, not everyone here believes in them, but I, I do, and I've had dreams of the dark star, an artifact uh, given to us long ago by the Bright Queen. Which both of you would know, living in this area, the Bright Queen is the, uh, the basically the Empress, the, the, the ruler dynasty, um, who it's said has reincarnated many times, has lived lifetimes on top of being an elf. Um, I. Uh, I received a vision of the dark star, a gift that we received uh, from a, mm, a twelve-sided uh, glass object made in 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 the likeness of the uh, the beacons, the great beacons of the uh, of the um, the Luxon, and she looks uh, looks at the sky. The Luxon, you may know, is is some sort of religious thing. I guess both of you make a religion check. Regardless of whether you succeed or not, yeah, this is okay. The Luxon is a is the uh, the the uh, religion of the dynasty. They they're more tolerant of other religions than than they're they're tolerant of other religions. But if you are to work in any leadership position under the dynasty, you worship the Luxon. Um, it's interesting. The Luxon is kind of a monotheistic religion. Okay. In that they believe in other deities, but the Luxon is supreme. The Luxon is uh, older and uh, more powerful. Yeah. It's, it's sort of a being of light and the savior of these elves who escaped the Underdark. Uh, um, and sort of the, the, the oppressive leadership of the dragon. So, so the Luxon is a very important figure, and the beacons are very important artifacts to this religion. Uh, and this gift is in the likeness of a beacon. So I'm, I'm dropping too much lore for this setting for a one-shot. Yeah. What, I'm what looking is at this your, one-shot. What, what was your dream about the Dark Star? Yes, the... the, the thank you, thank you. I get... I get, I get a, I, I get I get on tangents when I talk Luxon. I'm just so religious. The, uh, the I, I saw the dark star. Um, Dark Star, which has kept us safe for for so long, I saw it. It had a fire within it. 
fire that burned outward and burned the burned our town, burned everyone in it. Mm. I believe that the dark star. She will reserve her voice a little bit. I believe that the dark star is somehow some has something to do with this. I don't know. Maybe it's been corrupted. You know, um, you, you received this as a gift long before my time. Um, one of the guards, the the elf guards, uh, walks over, uh, and and and, and uh, um, Zeph says, "Oh, this is this is this is uh, Beltoon. Uh, he he uh, he belongs to one of the dens. He he's he's seen a few lifetimes of his own. All right. Yes, I." Uh, the Dark Star, as I've been told, was a uh, gift from the Bright Queen long ago. I assure you, the Dark Star is not to blame for this. It is a sacred artifact. Uh, if anything, the Dark Star should be protecting us from this sort of invasion. Uh, so clearly, they're they're not aligned on this. Uh, where is but it kept? Yeah. Where is the dark star kept? I don't know. That would be the uh, the keeper's business. The keepers are past. Yeah, they pass the location of the dark star, and the secret rights to. The 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 keeper. You mean the guy up in up in the keep? The yes, uh, that would be keeper Miram. What is hauled up in his keep? I wonder. I wonder if you, if you all would be able to speak with him. He won't speak to me, and he won't speak to any of the villagers. He's terrified of us. I. He won't have... even speak to his guard. Uh, <laughs> why would he speak to us then? What makes you think we would be? Well, qualified? she whispers again. Since you were sent here by the Bright Queen. We were sent here by your letter. I thought. Yeah, 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 I know. Since you were sent here by the Bright Queen herself, <laughs> he'd have no choice but to to receive you, wouldn't he? Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Got it. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. I get the impression that this, this adventure is meant to be run with a group that has played in the wild mount setting before mm -hmm. it just gives you a bunch of bullshit about the beacons yeah uh, um not judge wink right i'm just like nudge nudge wink wink oh right i pull out the lute and i start singing songs about receiving letters from lost loves ah yes yes and, and then together uh and at the same time i like i pull out a letter that I received from a lost love, or at least a fan, a groupie that hit yeah. me up one time, or hit on me after a concert once. Like, strum, strum. We received the lost letter. It is so you work out a story. Your your uh, mercenaries sent from the uh, from the city of Rosona by the Bright Queen's order uh, to uh, help the town and figure out what's going on and you went straight to you didn't stop at the tavern you went straight to the keep mm -hmm. to speak with uh his name is uh Miriam? yeah Miram. keeper alex Miram. what is it? i swear Um, before we leave the inn, Muffin would like to ask if there was anything strange that happened, like, just prior to this undead hap, uh, swarm starting to happen. Hmm. Well, my, my vision certainly happened, uh, the, 
the night before uh, the night of the first attack. Um, I suppose a few weeks before um, the Keeper fired all of his acolytes, which <laughs> was a big... I suppose that's weird. Deal. Well, we sent them up to Rosona to... We were hoping that they would return with help from Rosona. Before we even knew that the attacks were coming, it was highly suspicious that he would fire the acolytes, dismiss the acolytes who were... Uh, who lived there for so long and, and served, served the uh, keeper before him. Mm -hmm. Uh, we were hoping they'd return with help, but Rosona is far away. So it makes sense that they wouldn't have arrived. Um, other than that, it's sort of been business as usual. Between my visions and the uh, dismissal of the acolytes, though, I suppose we should have seen something like this coming. Yeah. Um, they will probably attack tonight, and I don't know if we can survive another assault. At least if, not if without this, your help. If this is all the numbers that you have. Yeah. I mean, we've got more villagers scattered around the town, but not many. They're not in any condition to fight. The only warriors left are myself few of the guard fucking Rylax if he'd get out of his hole. <laughs> Rylax is the your keeper? Yeah, near him. I feel like we need to talk to him. If you need anything, we don't have much to offer, but you know, for some some food if you, you need it. Mm -hmm. Uh is is there a, is there a small space or perhaps a, a separate room I could borrow for a few moments? Yes, absolutely. We have we have rooms upstairs. Uh, Muffin <laughs> would like to, uh, as a ritual, if possible, have divination. Nice, I love divination. Um, so incense and blah blah, one of the pieces, and um, and I'm gonna say because the, the spell is supposed to be used by a cleric, but it's sort of it hasn't really been reflavored for a wizard. I would normally try to change the spell a little bit to fit that, but you have your book with you. I would say this is coming mm. from. Mm -hmm. okay. Something like that. You're not okay. sure what it's coming from exactly, but you're connecting to something partly through the book. It'll kind okay. of help you. Okay. Well, it's a name. It's a name that you got in the book. Uh, you can only paint it. So, um, as, as a ritual, um, has, is, is the Dark Star responsible for this zombie threat? Has it been corrupt? I'm just reading, trying to think of what kind of response you can get. Um, I'm going to give you like visions. Does that, does okay. that sound good to you? Okay. Sure. I won't give you words, I'll give you images, I'll give you visions. Um, you, 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 as you are sort of settling into this, do you get three questions or just, just the one? Uh, just the one. Okay, so I'll make it a little. So you're meditating on the vision of, the, the vision that was described to you of the, uh, the dark star is twelve sided. I mean, it looks it looks like a D twelve. You know, it's a dodecahedron. Okay. Um, you've heard of the the Luxon beacons before, and it's made in the image of glass dodecahedron, and you're 
contemplating the image of uh, fire appearing within it and then the fire spreading uh, and you're contemplating on this vision and finally a vision comes to you a real vision uh, you you see the you see the uh, uh, the beacon uh, bursting into flames you see the fire spreading and then you see the vision in reverse and you're aware that this is the vision in reverse you're going back to the beginning you're watching the fire curl back in you're watching the fire shrink and shrink but it never quite goes away the vision seems to tell you that whatever corruption never there was no corruption whatever it was was a it was always in there, it just wasn't as big as... Yeah. Okay. Or, or at least, there is. there has been no... Her interpretation of the vision was not correct, in that there, the beacon was not corrupt. Okay. Uh, but the beacon may still be to blame. Okay. Alright, cool. Cool. Thank you. Um... After strange smells and strange sounds emanate from that room, Muffin will come out. He will kind of stroke his whiskers and sort of ponder that. Well, what did you see? I say. I assume you related to me. I think we can conclude that. Um. The Dark Star was not corrupted necessarily, but it may be in some way responsible for whatever this plague is. So, mm. perhaps see. we should keep that hush from from the other from the people in this. Yeah, at least among the group. Hmm. Probably okay. wise, yes. What would we like to do? Head up there now? That's the only thing I can think of, and I think it's a very good idea to do so. Come on, Cedric, the... to the keep. You can see it from a distance now that you're looking. The uh, the, the keeper's manor is is the only building in town that is very close to any of the other buildings. Uh, it has a fence around. It's an elaborate four-story house of wood and stone, um, surrounded by a fence. The gate is locked tight. Um, Fence looks climbable, but a little, a little challenging. Um, spiked up at the top. Um, the yard, you can see it has a couple corpses in it. Um, they have those long fingers, hair. Um, uh, but they look, none of them look burned per se, but they do look like something traumatic happened to them. Clearly dead. Properly dead. Left walking. This one. Okay. And we heard there were guards. There are no guards as you have them in. Mm. Okay. I the guard has I... apparently he has both abandoned the guard and the guard has abandoned. Well, if there's no one around. She would have also mentioned that he's a magical person. Yeah. Yeah. Fairly powerful one. So she's heard. He never helps with it, so he could be. Well, you 
you would notice actually there's there's some zombies in the yard, but there's there's also at least one not zombie body that looks to also be blown apart by force. Just in the yard. I know this is loud. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's a good idea, but I feel if we want through the gate, we either pole vault, which I don't think either of us are good at. I look at fat little muffin fluffy there, and I'm way too small. Um, what is our chance of getting the the uh, axle to jump it, jump the fence? Is that a possibility? Getting the what to jump the fence? The axle, the more bounder. Ooh, with a rider, that that's gonna be challenging. They they are good jumpers. They they can do a standing leap, so the the more bounder could leap the fence, mm. like without. Actually, honestly, without any trouble, the more bounder could leap the fence. It's just a matter of whether he'll stand. Because I would rather try that than my original idea, which is right. obviously going to attract attention. Which is essentially who's on the more bounder? Magically pick the lock. Um, I can be if I'm small enough. What Say that again. I am since I am small enough. But what do you think, yeah. Muffin? Cedric? Radigan? It could be either Muffin, Cedric, or Amila and Radigan. You might be able to fit like Muffin and Amila or Cedric and Radigan, a mix of those, but you couldn't have Muffin um, and Cedric. Radigan holds up a finger, a clawed, ratty finger, and strides over and flips open his uh, his little his little pouch and starts pulling out like mm -hmm. lock picks and things. Yeah, yeah, there's a lock on the gate that he would attempt to pick. Yes, he would like to try to pick the lock. So roll a d20 plus 10 because he's got expertise on his uh, thieves tools. Mm -hmm. That is not a roll. I wonder, can Actually, I, I do feel like... Well, yeah, let's just do this for now. Damn! Let me look, let me look. What was the DC? The lock can be picked by making a, su a successful DC 20 <laughs> these tools check. So, the gate swings open while you're in contemplating. Probably, if it's rusted shut, with a little, little bit of a loud creak. It creaks, but... Nobody in the town cares. Okay. As I'm discussing all these love for you, grand plans of jumping the fence with our awesome cat mount and like climbing over and making it all a big grand scene, Radigan just strides over and click, click. <laughs> and then gestures politely. Yes. Uh. Thank you, Matt. You live to see another day. <laughs> um, the the body that is blown apart, but not a a zombie. Um, is there anything like trinkets or valuables on it? Um. You are. Yeah, you'll, yeah. Uh, make an investigation. What? Ooh! So you walk over to it, and immediately you can see that it's got a little, uh, a little necklace. Um, I also need you to make a dexterity saving. Oh, your passive perception is 14. I'm sorry, I thought it was low. 
uh, you would actually notice as you're approaching that there is something under the body. You can see they're on sort of a, there's like a, a stepping stone. Or there, there's a couple oddly placed stepping stones in the yard. And you notice the edge of a rune mm -hmm. scrawled on the stepping stone. Oh. And you realize that a lot of these stepping stones are too far apart to be stepped on. Uh, but they are spread so that there's only so much distance between each one. They look like they are wards protecting the house. Okay. Nobody it's move. Just... Nobody yeah. move. What? What's <laughs> up? Uh, you see that corpse there? Uh huh. Uh, it's like under it. There's there's a warding wound of some kind under. It. Just be careful if you're walking, and don't step on don't step on any magic. Well, so now you notice there there is a the path up to the house from the gate is quite wide, and there's a I'll draw it to, to sort of indicate the shape. Um, the path is pretty wide, and there's a rune here. And a room here, and then the they're sort of staggered like that around the house. Mm -hmm. So if you snaked like this up to the house, you could avoid getting in. Yep. Okay. So that's the path to get to the house hmm. um, without getting exploded. <laughs> <laughs> I... Um, there is a necklace that looks very pretty on the, this body, but or I guess it'd be this one. I want, but to explode. I imagine they're like, they're a bit like Indiana Jones idols, where even if you remove a little bit, the pressure plate just sort of pops up and is triggered. That's what I Seems I, to be some sort of Re rechargeable glyph of warding. Mm. <sighs> well, let's let's just kind of stay careful and go around these these flagstone wounds here, kind of mm. make a, a way. Leaving your under at the, at the gate. That's a very good thought. Yes. I will point yes. at him and I will say, you stay. You do not come in. We need your help <laughs> later. Of course, it doesn't understand me. It's a beast. But I will just out of kindness of my heart run animal handling again. All right, it's, it'll, it'll stay. I mean, Don't. it'll stay if you tie it up. Uh, yeah. It's not going to. No, no, stay. Do rope. not make me chain you to the gate. No. It will make you chain you to the gate. <laughs> well, yeah. But it just won't try to break through the chains. Yep, yep. With the 13. Click, click. Bad. Bad axle. You stay here till I get back. It's interesting. It's sort of the same, like, aloof disdain that a cat wouldn't really get you, except yeah, right. there's an extra threat, you know? <laughs> <laughs> right. If he gets especially mad, he will eat me. Yeah. Sort of a, like, you're lucky I don't eat you. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Alright. So the, the, the door, it's like a, a, a dark stone, or a dark wood uh, door, uh, uh, wide and tall, uh, and there's two brass speaking uh, uh, pipes that like uh, wind uh, down to the size of the door. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's like little, yeah, yeah, tubes that flare out. Big, big knocker. 
Um, um Miss Bard? Uh, yes. Uh, yes. I think this might be a job for you with it your might be eloquence. Yeah. I think it is. Uh hang on. And I pull out a pad of paper and just start writing down a bunch of lyrics, which I'm not going to invent in the heat of the moment. You're writing down what? Just lyrics of a song or something. Just something oh, right. to yeah, yeah, yeah. Something, something, um, come open the door, something, something, something. We have a, you know, a, a performance. You will love us. We are awesome. We are the band. Um, the kick ass, taking... the kick ass more bounders. Yeah, that's our band name. The kick ass more bounders. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> And so, if I need to, I shall cast enthrall upon the speaking tube. <laughs> or you something. need to be able to see the, key, the creature. That is true. Oh, well, no, it just has to be within. Oh. It has to hear me. The range is 60 feet. Okay. I'm not sure. No, you do actually have to be able to see that. Does say that. <laughs> okay then that doesn't count. So, but I'll just sing this song down the tube and say, hey, we are the Moorbounders, the kick-ass Moorbounders. We're here for a performance. We're here to play. <laughs> <There's> a, you, <laughs> all right, you start performing your song through the, the, the tube, uh, and there's no response for a little bit. Uh, how long is the song? Eh, good radio edit, four minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, so after the song is done, there's a long silence. Uh, and you hear, um, <laughs> who is this? <clears throat> it was locked. We just told you. Did you not hear the lyrics? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why are you? Singing at my door. I did not invite uh, entertainment. But entertainment has arrived, nonetheless. It is your, uh, it is your night, sir. You well, have, you are the I, proud recipient I, of a, you are the proud recipient of a free concert. <laughs> more dollars. A concert. <laughs> Um, okay, make a pers persuasion check or a performance check. Uh, totally in my moment here. Why did I pick a bard? Uh, mu muff Muffin will poke Amelia and, and whisper, The bright lady. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe you can weave the two together. Well, I, I'm, I'm okay. Thank you very much for your performance. Uh, I'm not uh, in the market for... It's not a matter of marketing. It's a matter of experience. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> you have to see us to experience the full majesty of the kick-ass Warbounders. I have not i never heard of the kick-ass Moorbounders. Your name is quite lewd. <sighs> Would it help if we said that we were sponsored by the Bright Lady? She hired us to come and, uh, and sing for you and your townsfolk. Making, <laughs> making, making intimidation check with disadvantage because he called her the bright lady. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not me, Fluffy. There's a, there's a long pause and then his voice pipes back in. It's a little bit more serious now. He says, Now, I wouldn't go throwing away around that name so lightly. Please leave before I call the guard. Mm 
Uh, Is that uh, crickets? No. That's me. I thought it was cricket. No, that's me, that's me clicking my tongue. Oh. <laughs> Trying to think. I'm a very I'm... busy man. I don't have time for this nonsense. <laughs> what, what are you busy doing? You're... I am the keeper of this town. I, I'm, a, I'm a, a very important gentleman, and I have, I have lots to do. It's none of your business. Please be on your way. The keeper of the beacon. Oh, the beacon. Oh, right. Uh, we need to perform for you. Uh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> Fluffy, help me. <laughs> the black lady sent us to inquire as to the health of this town and it does not seem to be doing well good uh, it um, needs a little pick me up in the form of a C concert. Cedric, 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 Cedric whispers in your ear bright queen the bright queen the bright queen I meant to say I just say blindly and without hesitation. There's no response. Yeah. Uh, with your passive perception, uh, you do hear uh, a window open above you somewhere. Oh! -ho! I step back. And look up. No window closes. <laughs> uh, make a perception check. Just here. Okay. He stepped back to take a peek. Perception, perception. Oh, man. Actually, the window doesn't. Uh, yeah, you see uh, up on the uh, up on the second uh, story. Uh, uh, it's a uh, uh, pretty old uh, dark elf, so he must be, you know, several hundred years old. Uh, leaning out of the window, looking, seeing, spotting the more and then seeing you backing up, uh, he says, "Leave now! I have." I, 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 I'll call the guard on you. I'll, I'll strike you down with fire. He, he, a fire appears in his hand. Fire? No. Here, here, can we at least um, give you a sampling of how we sing, how we, uh, how we play? I heard quite enough, thank you. No, 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 you're, you're, you haven't heard us at our best. And now I cast him the wrong. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he is, he is on the second floor, so he's within range. Ah. <laughs> 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 not fighting you. I'll say he's not fighting. You're almost there, but not quite. He is an elf, though, so he does have advantage against star effects. Uh, oh, I do too. Let me see. Step. It wouldn't have been a fire. <laughs> I don't know. We'll say it's fire. Okay, gets fired. Um. So he was. This gonna be bad. That's a thirteen. Ooh, -hoo. and uh, seventeen. Uh -huh. 
he shakes his head a little bit and goes, Wait, no, these damn villagers sent you after me, <laughs> didn't you? Oh, fuck. <laughs> and he, he, he's gonna, um, uh, He's gonna he's gonna back into the window for for a few moments. And you, you can very faintly hear someone of a gym. Uh, do you have a hide? Anything that can hide us? I whispered to Fluffy or to Muffin. I can hide. I would suggest doing it. Hey, can you try the lock pick again? Okay. He's, he's gonna try and pick the door. I was actually wrong about the DC of the other the other doors. The, the gate was easier. This is the DC tool. Okay. So this one's gonna be hard to unlock. All right. <laughs> the the gate was uh, only thirteen. Oh, very good. Yeah. Uh. Just run it. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, very close. He, he can feel that he's close. Um, but it's a very challenging lock. All right. I'm going to replace that with a 13. All right, then he succeeds, as you first saw. Uh, he unlocks the door, and it swings open. Uh, let's see if there's a, it's. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, oh, so the door is open. You can see inside. Um, I would suggest we find some place to hide very quickly. His demeanor definitely changed when he brought up the break. He didn't believe it. Right. Right. Um, uh, within the front door, are, are you guys going in or? I think I am trying Radigan. to go in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Muffin will go in and try and find some hide behind. suit of armor or a cupboard. I'm going to find a cupboard and duck into it. Uh, you hear from outside again. Uh, say, if you will not leave, you will die! And then and, and he casts Cloud Kill on the area. He can just barely see the doorstep. Or, uh, he doesn't know that you're inside the house yet. But, uh, uh, cloud of uh, toxic gas starts to float down from the floor towards the towards the doorstep. So you definitely <laughs> either go in or back <laughs> order. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, quick. <laughs> All right. Please, please, please do trail nation commit. It's no. <laughs> There's no travel. If we, if we close the door, will that keep out the? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um. Real quick. Uh. Muffin and Cedric will push against the door, close them. Cloud come. I just find my cupboard and get into it really fast. <laughs> the, uh, the interior of the manor, you're in a small... Yeah, you're in an antechamber um, for guests uh, to remove their shoes. There's a little shoe bench um, near the uh, part where the floor is raised. 
There's a tall spiral staircase nearby. Hallway extends past the stairs. Mm -hmm. You can see that the hallway leads to some rooms. I will scurry my way up the hallway. All right. Fairly um, boldly. As you walk towards the hallway, yeah. Uh, Let's see. You bump face first into a wall, an invisible wall. Just past the staircase. Mm -hmm. I feel around, uh, pushing against past this invisible the wall. Is there any way I can find like a hidden doorknob? Oh, yeah, say that again. Is there any way I can find some sort of hidden doorknob on this wall? This you're you're wall? feeling around the wall, and it kind of gives very slightly mm -hmm. uh, when you push on it, but it's it, it extends across the whole entryway to this hallway. Interesting. And it, it's kind of like a non-Newtonian fluid. Like when you push on it, it gives slightly, but then it stops giving. Yeah. But if you if you bang against it, it almost hurts your hand. It's solid. Hmm. Oh, so what about? <laughs> no, that probably wouldn't work. I'm now thinking like, hmm, what is my chance of doing sort of a dune shield spell? Um, uh, make an arc. Uh, where I are you proficient in arcana? I don't think so. Okay, so you can't can arcana check them. Not not for this. Okay. If 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 uh, if um, it's like if muffin is proficient in arcana, he this, can make. You know, yeah. Uh yeah, muffin will yeah, tag. I would let both of you make it because you're a bard. You have jack of all trades. I'll say that counts for this. Okay. So you could both make an. Muffin, you're aware, vaguely aware of the spell Wall of Force. You don't know exactly how it works. But it's a powerful spell. Um, it's not completely without. It, it's it's outside of your grasp, but you've been, you know, it's a fifth level spell, so it's 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 uh, you could you could learn it, but it's a bit beyond. Mm. Uh, but it's uh, that's what this is. So you know that you cannot penetrate the wall by force. Um, it won't take damage and it can't be dispelled. There's some, you know, there's some, there's, there's some way to, to destroy, but you can't quite remember. Well, sure I, guess that we, ability anyway. I guess we have only the staircase to go up. <laughs> <sighs> Come on, Cedric. What's up the stair? Up the staircase. Um, I will follow, by the way. Yeah, up the staircase, it looks like this is the sort of the, the living area of the manor. The lower level is, is more for, for entertaining guests and uh, public events, although clearly he doesn't have it though, lately. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but but this is a uh, uh, kind of a, a large um, uh, kind of lounge area um, uh, where he, he might take his dinners. Um, uh, there's uh, lots of there's a there's a fireplace, um, with uh, um, uh, lots of um, expensive looking uh, uh, bobbles, a statuette. Um, there's a an altar on the other side of the room uh, to the with with a, a little statuette of 
Oxen Beacon. Uh, it's a little dusty. Looks like you know, um, the the the. There's a window with a mini uh, on the other side of it, and the spiral staircase continues up to the third floor. Um, and uh, 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 the keeper starts to to stomp down the spiral staircase and notices you guys, and and he he screams. Uh, uh, and. Uh, begins to cast a spell, but he's holding it, and he says, Who are you? Why have you entered my home? We've come to talk to you. That's all. Why will you not speak with us? Yeah, what? Looks over at the, the suits of armor and kind of gestures towards them, and you hear them shift and move, and they take a step forward, and then stop. No. <laughs> Speak! Oh, my God. Came to my door uninvited. You assailed me with the, the, the terrible music. You you cast a spell on me and now you've broken into my home. Did those treacherous villagers put you up to this? Oh, I used the wrong spell the last time. Those treacherous villagers are mostly dead, good sir. There is an undead plague going on in that village. Yes, I'm aware. It's a damn nuisance. I say, what if they come here? <sighs> they trust you. You are the keeper of... The beacon. What are you doing to protect these people who trust the Peter beacon Vincent. as their... Yes, yes, yes. Well, I, I would I love to protect them it is my duty after all and i take that very seriously but these these uh these tre treacherous they you can't trust them they're yeah i mean you, i'm sure you've seen one of them even tried to come to my door like you have they uh no we have not what treacherous it's... little what uh, you didn't see the body of a villager at the, yeah. uh, in the uh, who died to one of the, uh, yeah. the troops. Why would you call that treachery? They are coming to you for assistance, for help, for protection. Yes, that's not my job. I keep the I keep the dark star, and I keep its secrets. And and you know they they ought to be protecting me. <laughs> Who else is going to keep the location of the Dark Star secret? Hmm. Uh. I, I have had a vision, good sir, that the Dark Star may in fact be the cause of this plague of undead here. Yes, yes, you and that giant. His demeanor shifts a little bit. Do you have seen vision of the dark star? Indeed. Did it have the power to raise the dead and command them, perhaps? Is that what the dark star does? 
well, well, and he 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 starts monologuing a little bit now. His his, his demeanor is, is is a little bit more. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, no, no. As far as I, I I know, that's not something that the Dark Star was made to do. But clearly, somebody is doing this, and if the Dark Star is what allows them to do it. Surely there, surely it's been planted in the wrong hands, but. Sir, I step forward. I am the keeper of the Dark Star after all. If someone were to bring it to me, I could use that power for good. Why should someone bring it to you? I could do my you? job and protect you... the village. Wait, sir, you Seven. are, yes. do you actually know where the Dark Star is? Of course I do. I'm the keeper of the Dark Star. Are you sure you know where it is? Could it have been stolen from you? What? After, no. After... I know the location. It's very secret. And, uh, nobody else knows. <laughs> but, but, and I wave my hand in front of him to see if he sees it. I don't know. How many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> what? I'm just <laughs> testing. I'm testing his. I'm testing his uh, faculties. How many? How many fingers are you holding up? A two. <laughs> You're holding up two fingers. Yeah. You're holding up two fingers. Uh, what? Well. What is this? I. Are you casting out a spell on me? No, 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 no. I am just saying. That you seem I rather am a powerful magician. I wouldn't try such tricks on me. How do I tell him he's old without telling them, without offending him? Uh, I've I've never been good with old people. In fact, I'm terrified of old people. An old witch. Kept me locked as a pet for years and years. No. He's not listening to you. He's he's thinking. Mm -hmm. He he seems like now that he's in a position of power, he's a little bit more. Yeah. I say, to look you four look like mercenaries. Yes. You don't mind getting your hands yeah. in the I mean, what whatever those. Filthy villagers have paid you to come and harass me. I I swear I can pay you much, much more. What I would love to do, if I give you the location of the Dark Star and you bring it to me, I can protect these villagers. I can, I can rebuild this town with, with, with the, uh, the Dark Dark Star really is commanding the undead. I don't even have to hire help. I whispered a muffin. He just said he doesn't know where it is. What, what did you whisper? He just said that he doesn't know where it is. He basically well, he just if admitted. He, if someone could tell me where it is, someone could no, give no, me he the location. He, he could, he could give you, he could give you the location. Yeah. Oh. Mm, yeah. And you could bring it to him. Why doesn't he just go get it himself? He's so protective of it until we offer him a trade for it. Are you yes. talking about me? <laughs> Why, no, yes. We're, 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 just, oh. we're discussing fee, we're discussing fee payments. But, uh... <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Well, if you bring me the Dark Star, I suppose... He starts looking at... Uh, uh, I could offer you a thousand gold each. How does that sound? I bet those little worms out in the village couldn't offer you that much. Ha! Rad Radigan immediately starts poking me in the arm. And I try to swat him away, but he just keeps poking and poking and poking. <sighs> I 
Yes. Please, please. Oh, that sounds so wonderful. Think of all the turtles. Yeah, there we go. That's the spirit. <laughs> but I. But it's very important that after you retrieve the artifact, be very careful. It's made out of glass. You bring it here. Straight here. Mm-hmm. Straight here. Yes. We 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 crossed our hearts, sir. Yes. Make a deception check. Both of you. Okay. <laughs> Perception, you said. Deception. Oh, deception. Deception. Okay, there you go. All right. He pauses for a second. Looks over you. Very good. Very good. All right. And he, he, he spreads it, he goes and retrieves a map and spreads it out and <laughs> does a little magic over it and, and some markings appear on the map. Uh, uh, she then, he then indicates to you the location of the Dark Star, um, which is uh, a few hours uh, journey downhill, downhill into the woods. Uh, there's a hill um, partly made from the the uh, body of one of those giant tortoises that you'd seen. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, you could you could get there before before nightfall okay. if you leave soon. <laughs> Do it quickly. I worry if those zombies run out of villagers. They come here next. Why did you not keep a better? Uh, why did you not keep it closer to you? How dare you! Don't tell me how to do my job. It's been in this location for long before my time. Okay. I'm just saying, if it was in this keep, maybe somebody else couldn't be using it. Huh? Uh, the location is completely secret. I have not said it to anyone. I'm very good at my job. <laughs> and uh, that's that. Okay, okay. No arguing. Uh, I think I'm done arguing with him about that. Now go. Leave. The, the 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 armor will see you out. <laughs> the, the two suits of armor stuff. Ah, hands off. I can walk myself. <laughs> All right. They walk you to the door. Uh, when you open the door, it's still pretty stinky out there, but the, the cloud kill won't kill you anymore. Good. Okay. That was nerve-wracking. I know. Uh, sorry about that. I completely take responsibility for how that turned out. Daniel? Hmm? You kind of cut out my thought. Oh, I'm just saying that I completely take responsibility for how that panned out. <laughs> I'm not sure it could have turned out any other way. He was a grumpy old guy. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess we have a location, whether the Dark Star will be there or not. But he's yes. Yeah. Could we head towards it? I think... What time of day is it? Um, it's... Early... He, it's it's like around it's a little bit before noon. You arrived here pretty early in the mo in the morning, and uh, now you had a pretty long conversation with both groups. So it's probably it's probably early afternoon now. Okay. And it'll be a few hours to the to the uh, uh, to the uh, to the hill mm -hmm. where the uh, vault is. Um, right. But. Uh, 
um, you, 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 you still could get to the Vault of the Dark Star before night. Yep. Not long before. I think we probably better. Never mind that, like, one shot, we're supposed to have this done in one section. <laughs> um, yeah, like, let's... With, within, within the woods and the terrain we're going to be going in, is it better to leave them out here, or would they provide us with some sort of a uh, time advantage? Um, through the woods, it's it, it's going to be like about the same. Um, so it's up to you. I mean, you know, your more bounder is, is fairly useful in a fight, uh, but um, mm -hmm. it's also useful for riding home, getting for your uh, for your concert. Or whatever. So mm -hmm. up to you. Okay, it's pretty big too. So if this is going to be indoor, sure. Yeah, might be one of those Eeyore things. We leave him on the outside and hope he doesn't die. They'll, they'll keep your mounts at the end if you want to leave them there. Mm. They can't guarantee they'll survive the night if you don't accomplish your goal. Right. But if, if you don't accomplish your goal, that's the least of your worries. Right. <laughs> Cedric, why don't, we, why don't we leave the mules here? And if the other people want to bring their their amount they can it is good in a fight but mules will be safe very well all right um so heading to the vault are you already taking another 10 minute break are we going to be able to finish do you think do you think you guys can stick around for i can yeah. i can I can, but it is getting. We're getting on, pretty late. We're on four hours for, so far for this. That's thing. true. That's true. Well, this is going to be the last stage. Okay. At most, this is the last third, but hopefully it won't take that long. All right. Um. So as long as that's all right, we'll take a. Uh, back at seven fifty. Oh. Sure. Dum -dum.
Okay.
Move, move. Holding in here. They have very hot, scaldy things. What, Daniel? Huh? What? Oh, Diego. He was coming in the kitchen as I was coming out of the kitchen and getting underfoot. And I was holding a hot cup of coffee. <laughs> Oh, by the by the mug, not the handle. And so I'm like, I've got to get to somewhere that I can put this down, and you're in the way. And oh my gosh, I'm going to step on you. So anyway, <clears> oh. <throat> <sighs> thinks that we should go back in, <laughs> kill that guy, and keep the dope stuff for ourselves. I think that's a great idea. I also uh, think that's... I don't think it's possible, though. Probably not. It'd be fun to try. <sighs> town is on a big hill and then in the forest there's another sort of you know along the slope of the hill it comes back up for a second the old body of a giant tortoise um <clears throat> and that's where the entrance to the hill is at the top of that hill um you follow the instructions, uh, make it down the hill, and arrive there just before nightfall. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> you, you find the hill, um, looking around, you're going to find the entrance, but I want to see how long it takes. So I allow two of you to make certain checks. All right. Attempt to find the entrance. In the time remainder. 
It is hit very well hidden. Or investigation, that allowed investigation. Uh, I think uh, the rat really good investigation. Yup. <laughs> Ooh. So yeah. does nothing. I have a nose for hiding places. Oh wow, and the rat has not really done that well. It's done reasonably <clears throat> well, but not great. So Muffin, you do manage to find uh, an area. It's both concealed physically by rocks, trees, and stuff, but there's also an illusion over it. <clears throat> the the uh, shrubs, <clears throat> the natural um, <clears throat> surroundings obscure the illusion so that you know someone who can sense magic doesn't sense the illusion. And then the mm -hmm. illusion uh, obscures the entrance. Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, I ate peanut butter, which is a really bad thing to eat right before going to fun. <laughs> is, is it like like a slab of stone or something that you can like walk through? It's a hole in the ground. Hmm. Uh, and there's nothing covering it up, but <clears throat> studying the enchantment, it seems like things just don't fall in hmm. accidentally. I'm not sure the exact nature of the enchantment, but there's something old, subtle, but more powerful than it appears. Mm -hmm. hmm. Or if you're not looking for it, things aren't just going to fall in. Mm -hmm. I think I found it. It's over here, guys. Radigan runs over and looks down in. And you say nothing falls in by accident? He starts sniffing around the edge, but really doesn't come up with anything reasonable. Yeah, you can't actually see down the hole mm -hmm. because of the illusion covering it. You have to just go in. Ooh. Radigan, why don't you why don't you sneak down there and see what's down there? He casts you a suspicious glance, but then darts in. All right, Let's make a stealth check for Radigan. Yep. Pokes his head in a little bit. Uh, leans way forward, just the one where he can just barely get his eye past the uh, past the illusion. You can see uh, about like almost ten feet below the below the hole. There's a a wooden beam of some sort drops down onto that mm -hmm. pretty sick and looks around to. Setting this up. Mm -hmm. I didn't even turn the fog. Fog. There it is. Radigan, your dad? Squeak. Quiet. I'm sneaking. <laughs> <sighs> Why don't you drag Radigan right here? Yeah, okay. Mm. Huh. He's a tall, uh, circular tall cylindrical chamber that domes at the very top with that hole at the uh, at the tippy top. Mm -hmm. 
lit only by that little uh, streak of light. Um, he's on a, a wooden beam that, uh, a support beam, seemingly, that, that runs across uh, the chamber. Um, the chamber is a mix of, it's sort of stone uh, on one side, and then on the other side it transitions to the uh, to the old dry bone, the uh, the tor tortoise. Oh, yes. um, the support beams look a little newer and a bit haphazard. And uh, from each of the three support beams, which are each about 10 feet apart vertically, mm -hmm. uh, it's 10 feet down from the one he's the next one, 10 feet down from that to the next one, and then another 10 feet down to the floor. Uh, each of the beams has many ropes and chains hanging off of them. More chains towards the bottom, more ropes towards the top, but there's chains in right there. And the ropes, some of the ropes uh, go from one beam to the next, some of the ropes reach all the way down to the bottom. There's just ropes and chains hanging. Wow. Make a perception check. Okay. He, I guess he does have dark vision. Yeah, I didn't know if he did they'll, or not. They'll say he has. I know that. Has dark um, vision. What's her name? The girl does. 60 feet okay. worth. Yeah, I'll, I'll, for the most part, I'll give him the same stuff as Tabaxi. Okay. I don't know about the claws. No, perception, sorry. Yeah. All right. So he can see all of what I just mentioned. He also notices that there's marks all over the beams, like things with claws have scrambled up the ropes and up the beams. Mm -hmm. Um. You can also see down at the bottom, the very edge of his dark vision, lots of shapes, humanoid shapes shambling around. They are shambling, like, actively? Yes, very slowly. They seem fairly, not docile, but, like, aimless. Mm -hmm. Like, if you played Dark Souls... There's a lot of there's a lot of like uh, sad, wailing, wandering stuff, kind of like that. Yep. Some of them are, are curled up on the ground. Um, some of them are in kind of a fetal position. Some of them are kind of sleeping, but not really. Just just lying, not sleeping. And some of them wandering, sleep. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a little bit unnerving. Let's tease the door over here. Yeah. Oh, I don't know why I put the door over here. Ignore this door here. Okay. Think. The Rad entrance is in. Radigan will poke his head back out of the hole at the top if he can. If he's not dropped down and, and unable to get back out himself. Uh, it's 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 easier to drop down than it is to get back up because it's like almost ten feet up. It's a little bit of a jump, but okay. uh, he can do it. All right, yeah, he'll try it. He'll grab the edge and claw his way back out and <clears throat> relay what he has seen. To There's everyone. lots of handholds because the stone around the the hole is very scratched up. Hmm. Yeah, he's going to talk about the claw marks on the beams. He's going to talk about the people at the bottom. He doesn't know. He says, they, 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 I don't, I don't know if they're zombies. I don't know if they're people. They acted, uh, they acted a little bit. I can't put words to it. But they didn't act like zombies. They didn't act hungry and 
mindless. They seem to be brooding. Maybe. So as long as we don't wake them up, they're okay. I actually wonder if they are prisoners and not hostile. Uh, Radigan, did you say this door was on the bottom of the tunnel, or...? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And with a natural 20, there was some flickering light coming under the door. It was a heavy door, but mm -hmm. whatever cracks there are, there was like... Yes, it seems like there's more to so, uh, it than just this circular... An area. unnaturally deep red. It was mm. like firelight, but redder, deeper. Hmm. Not a natural thing. Yeah. Um. And... What'd you like to do? I mean, I could sneak back down in, see if I can see closer at that door. I think I could. I think I could make it past everybody on on the ground. Uh, Radigan, how how wide did you say that that tunnel was at the bottom? The tunnel it seems to be just five or ten feet across. It's not terrible. It's a large door, but. Not quite ten feet of close, mm -hmm. but um, and the zombies, by the way, there were the natural twenty again, at least twenty, slightly over. From from what you've heard, they're quite strong mm -hmm. individuals. Hmm. He looks up into the sky. It's not quite night. It's getting really close, though. I wonder what they will do when nightfall comes. Didn't you, didn't the keeper say that they come out at night? Didn't the giantess say that they come out at night? Every night yeah. for a week. And, and their numbers are higher. Mm -hmm. What if we wait for them to come out and leave and go to the village? I, I, I say I say we just burn them all now while they're still mindless. But I have nothing to burn them with. Amila does though. Mm. And she fires off a test firebolt at a nearby tree. Sees if she can explode it. Strike the bark, but it won't catch <laughs> fire. It's a cold, wet uh, forest. Mm -hmm. Well, if we let them out, they're going to go kill the rest of the villagers. That we do not want, Amila uh, says. I have a proposal. Okay. Uh, can a glyph of warding be dismantled or disarmed later? And are we convinced that this is the only way out of this place? Radigan is pretty, I mean, from that chamber, he only saw two doors. Mm -hmm. He's pretty confident about that. Okay. Just the, the one in the ceiling and the one. Again, I don't, I genuinely don't know what I was thinking. This door. Nah. I made this map very quickly. Yeah. <clears throat> and Alina, Amila will uh, continue. Because I happen to 
have an ability. Uh, I happen to be able to cast Glyph of Warding, but I need about an hour to do it. And this beam, I'm thinking if we if we trap the beam at the very top to explode, that will at least like when they when they touch it, when they step on it, when they climb up onto it, or when they jump up from it into this hole. And that way, when they try to escape, it will collapse in on them. Mm. But but we set this, and then we descend in, and then later when we come back out, we disarm it. And of course, if we die in there, it will never be disarmed, and it will be trapped forever. Or and you can you can. You can uh, designate creatures to not trigger the oh. the uh, ward yeah. warding by the way. So, so all your you could say that like all your allies can pass through without triggering. Glyph. That's that's fair. Or you can I think you can. Um, it doesn't have to be proximity based. You could say when I speak a word, mm -hmm. a certain word explodes. So you could like, wait until there's just be. You've got you've got a lot of blood flex. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I would like to try it if that's okay with you, uh, Muffin. I'm all for new and explosive kinds of magic. Now, what is the component for glyph of warding? A lot, a lot Three of stuff right. that I don't have. <laughs> How much money? Uh, two hundred gold. Uh, and you guys don't have two hundred gold between you. I have almost exactly two hundred gold. Right. I'll say that you can. You can. But I mean, we uh, have we have we have the the money they paid us with. That's true. Also, that's another hundred fifty. So I'll say that we bought whatever the component was. You can say that you you bought it. <laughs> okay. It's a one shot. Yep. If it was a campaign, I wouldn't say that, but. Mm -hmm. I still might say it, but uh, see, if, like, oh, yeah, oh. <laughs> incense powdered diamond. Wow. Yeah. All right. So yeah, you've got you've got your powdered diamond, your incense. <laughs> Takes an hour to cast, so I'll say that you've got just barely an hour before it goes completely dark. Mm -hmm. So if you start now, you can finish it in time. Yeah, I would recommend. Oh, it looks we... like you forgot to heal uh, Radigan. Oh, 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 yes. Yeah, Radigan and. Uh, uh, Cedric, I almost call him Carl. Uh, two. Two max. Whoa. Okay, he's not that big. Hey. Yeah, just did not do that. So the plan is, you cast this glyph of warding mm -hmm. over an hour, then we just wait for the zombies to come out and they get exploded? No. Uh, well, uh, yeah. I mean, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get down there without them noticing us? 
Is that the most stupid question I've ever asked? What was that? Can we get the, down there and through that weird red door that Radigan described without anybody noticing? Uh, up to you. I don't know. It's a lot of zombies. There wasn't, I mean, they were like almost completely occupied. I mean, the, 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 the chamber's pretty big, but there were 24 zombies. Mm -hmm. So like, no, do you think you could get past 24 zombies in that chamber? Unseen? I mean, Radigan was able to unseen, but... But he also didn't go all the way down in. No. You'd have to climb down uh, four, I think, what did I say? It was 10 feet. You have to climb down 30 feet of ropes and chains. Mm -hmm. And then make it to this heavy wooden door. Were there ropes and chains going all the way to the floor? Yeah, some of them went from the top beam down to the floor. Some of them go from beam to beam. Mm -hmm. You know, 10 feet down to the next beam, 10 feet down to the next beam. So, yep. Yep. yeah, you've got options there. They do go all over. Looks like the zombies make the, the chains because you saw scratch wood. Mm -hmm. Right, so, right. Would anyone object to me doing a fireball down there? No. Get them kind of pre-cooked, and then your glyph of warding can, like, finish cooking them? That's fine. I was thinking I could just firebolt as much as I could. Be able to get a... Hmm. You'd have to... You would have to get... Because you can't see past the illusion. Mm. And unless you're leaning way forward and, and and even then once you're there you can barely see past the beams to mm. all the way to the floor could, could so Amila you see basically would have to climb huh could Amila see down with dark vision um if she was if she was on the top beam she could right. and and uh, well, what I'm saying is to cast a fireball on the ground you're gonna have to be on this top beam means you're gonna have to drop through the hole. Yep. Alright. Um Muffin is gonna find a like a sturdy tree nearby to tie his rope to and then right. just like dangle down enough <laughs> rope to reach the top of that beam. Easy to do. The topmost beam. Cool. Um and then stand. Alright, it's getting very dark Sun has set, but there's still a little blue in the sky. Uh, you're nearing the end of your glyph of warding spell. Yep. Muffin is preparing to possibly climb the rope down. Um, what are what are you selecting for the glyph of warding? Because you, you can either you can do the explosive rune or you can store a spell in it. I'm thinking that oh. top beam, and we would explode the top beam. Okay, exploding room. Oh, are you casting it on the beam, or are you casting it on the, the hole? I don't think I could do it on the hole, but if that's possible, that'd be cool. You could do it on the hole. I sure. mean, you can do it on, like, the side of the hole. Yeah. Yeah, and then anything that goes through the hole. Because that would be preferable. Right. <clears throat> uh, and it'll explode in a radius, so anybody near it mm -hmm. will get damaged, including right. you guys. Right. You guys won't trigger it. But if yep. you're there when it triggers. Yep. Um, and would you like to set the trigger as proximity? Like if any any creature other than you guys comes into proximity? Or would you like to detonate it with, with a word? It had better be a detonation word. Say that again? It probably had better be a triggered word. Like I have to speak it. All right. All right, and finally, what damage type would you like the explosion to be? You can choose acid, cold, fire, lightning, or thunder. Well, they are zombies. I would prefer fire. All right. Radius is 20-foot radius, so you're going to have to get a good distance away. It's basically a fireball. At least on that second um, beam down. 
Yeah, anything anything on the top beam is going to get never exploded. Mind that, never mind that they're also climbing up the same exact thing. Right. So you're finishing up the rune muffin. What are you doing? Are you, are you waiting until the rune is complete? Uh, yeah, I'm going to wait until the rune is complete before the right. rune is when you're close to finish, because it takes a full hour to set this thing up, you have to inscribe the rune and you have to do all kinds of all kinds of crazy ritual stuff. <clears throat> you hear the door down below open. It's not quite completely dark yet, but the door opens. None of you are looking at the chain. So you don't have anything for a few moments. Um, and then you hear okay. Oh, on. If, if Muffin was on the beam already, would he? I... Uh, Muffin was not on the beam. You were waiting until the room was complete. Oh, okay. Yeah. No more. Uh, you do hear, though, a voice. You can hear it faintly up here, but it's echoing. It's, okay, I guess you're sort of. Um, you hear a voice speaking, and it takes you a moment. You realize it's speaking in infer, which you do understand. Oh. And it says says, wake up, my children. Time to feast. <laughs> rise, rise. And you can hear, you hear moans and you hear the zombies <laughs> getting agitated. <laughs> okay. Um... I pull up just after I finish the glyph of warding. I would have heard that as well. You heard you heard a, a distant voice speaking down the hall, but you couldn't understand. Okay. He was speaking in a language that you don't. Unless you speak uh, internal. No, I don't. Uh, Muffin will will drop down onto the top beam here okay. and. Um, Get some sulfur from his component pouch. Fireball right there. All right. So there's a rule in here about making group saves. Is that right, 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 right around here? Uh. Yeah, like floor here and yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can Sweet. get. Let me see. Let me let me, let me put a let me put a. Thing. So it's twenty foot three. Is that about the right? Is that about it? Is that like a, a twenty radius? foot radius? That twenty feet across, not a twenty foot radius. Oh, I was thinking that right. The, the squares are five feet. Double that. Four. So four squares. So it'll be five squares across because of the the target square. Four squares right. in that um, that's just the size of the room, basically, right? Not quite the size of the room, but like... Not quite, it's like 50 feet across, but... Yeah. And you can even save a few, um... Yeah, so it's going to, I mean... The majority of the zombies are going to be in it, right? Have I drawn this thing too big? That's about the size. So, um, you you could nudge it a little bit this way, because okay. you want to say <laughs> if I can select it. It's always difficult to select okay. the shapes that you've drawn. Yeah, okay, so uh, I'm going to 
I'm going to say yeah roll uh, roll 64 to uh, see how many zombies you, you, you get in the circle um, I just gave you a number where you can potentially end up selecting all of them but it's more likely that you'll just get most of them does that seem fair? yeah Oof. oh I'm so sorry <laughs> I think I think I gave you a fair yeah, goal, sure, sure. but it was just a real sorry that happens to you. <laughs> yeah, so you do you get ten of them in in the area. Um, I'm gonna give them disadvantage on their deck saves, but they barely have any dexterity anyway. So a twenty-eight. I mean, yeah, they are. I'm just gonna roll to see how many of them die. And yet the rest of them be um, the rest of them are gonna be um, severely injured. So that's ten zombies. Um, <laughs> no, ten zombies. There, there. Th those ten are. Oh, you know what? They actually wouldn't be dead either. If they say. They have undead fortitude, I forgot. If, if they're actually zombies. Just consulting the sheet to make sure there's nothing I'm missing. <laughs> yeah, so you, you hit ten of them with the fireball and you can see that they immediately are already like rising and moving. They're, they're kind of starting to shriek. And, scratch at the ground and then look up at the hole uh, and the, the 10 that you hit fall back and then start wailing and writhing on the ground but they don't die because they are dirtier than they are not normal based you had heard that they were there was something unusual okay uh, they, they do seem to be in addition to being stronger faster and having the ability to quickly infect other people they also have a lot more. but those ones are almost dead <laughs> so 10 of them are, are let me let me just mark 10 of them Eventually, I'll be able to delete that circle because. <laughs> yeah, so those ones are almost dead. Um, and you, now that you're down here, you see the uh, what you immediately recognize from your book as a devil toad, a nergali commonly called a devil toad Ooh. which is a it's a fiend it's a devil that uh can uh it can drain the life force of a creature and turn them into a an undead creature that's not a zombie but it's it's closest to a zombie so what it's often called but it uh, a zombie is in D and D is not contagious, uh, but it is like it, it, it is immortal. It's something that will last forever. Just kind of shamble yeah, a purpose is. for for time. These things are not they are not immortal. They they do die. They do wear down, disintegrate over time. But they're much stronger. They're much faster. Hmm. Quickly can spread. Uh, uh, their disease. All they have to do is kill something. That thing. And, and that that thing was called a nurgle. Nurgle lid. Nurgle. N. Elson. Elson. The the 
the name. Okay, well, um, having done his good deed for the day, Muffin is going to try and climb back up the rope. <laughs> Quickly. <laughs> All right. Um, make an athletics check with advantage because um, your companion is, is going to help you. Uh, you can start to see now the zombies are crawling up the ropes. Um, the ones that were. Uh, the, the Nurgle looks up and sees you climbing up and he says, What? What? No! Not now! So close! Uh, he says all that in Infernal. Oh! <laughs> You slip down on the ro rope a little bit and it burns your hand so bad that you let go. I need no. you to make a dexterity saving throw. Because you I fall can... just a little bit and when you're done. I can do it. Dirty saving throw. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. You land on the side of this beam and uh, it knocks the wind out of you so much that you realize too late that you're slipping and you fall down onto the next beam. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> the zombies are starting to crawl their way up now. Climbing the climbing the ropes and the chains. Ooh, I finally was able to select I accidentally selected the circle. Up at the top, uh, you finish the glyph of warding just in time to hear Muffin slip and hear Cedric go, No, 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 no! <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, gosh. I think everyone should roll initiative now. I think so, too. Uh, I probably I ought to it's throw my... time. Yep. Uh, hold on, let me... I can... Uh, remove the turn order. Yeah, I've also got... Now I'll roll initiative. All right. <sighs> They call them husks in the adventure. They call the zombies husks. I don't really like that. It doesn't seem like that's what they are. Husk makes me think of like something slower. Or yeah. Something that lasts longer. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I like husks. So I just called them zombie bear. They're desert zombies that don't burn in sunlight. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think of Minecraft husks. And make you hungry. Okay, come on, Amelia. Amelia. It's your dexterity score. Minus one. one. She's horrible at Muffin. this. Damn. What's Muffin's dexterity? Oh, oh, you were talking about that. Did Vatican get a 21? Yes. You've got the glyph of warding set up at the top, mm -hmm. but <laughs> you've left someone behind. And remember, when that thing explodes, when a oh right, I was gonna say when a zombie gets near, but it's your it's your word. Yes, so it'll only explode when you tell it to. <laughs> the fire damage. So, what's Muffin's uh, dexterity score? Not modified. Uh, zero. Okay. What's the score though? Uh, I think the Nurgleit has the same. Oh no! Never mind. They're plus one. Good. Devil Toad. That's cool with them too. Oh man, the zombie turn is gonna be hell. <laughs> Twenty. I'm not going to do twenty attacks, but not that twenty of them would even reach you. So Radigan is up first. 
He knows he can't see down into the hole, but he knows that Muffin just fell. He doesn't know how far. He also knows that the Glyph of Warding is ready to go. He also uh, knows that yeah. there's an infernal creature. He doesn't know what it said. Yeah. Oh, golly. Um, right. Immediately he's going... Oh, gosh. This is really nuts. He's going to slither through the hole, back down, and land on that top beam. All right. He's going to try to quickly take in what the situation is. See these mostly burned zombies still alive. Uh, possibly see that creature at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, he'd be able to see the creature. Okay. I, because he's got the first draw, I'm, he's going to whip out his light crossbow. He is going to knock his bolt of manslaying, and he's going to let it fly at that thing. At this thing? Okay, now hold on, though. Yes. Uh, why don't you make an uh, intelligence check for Ratty? Sure. He did, he did get this thing with advantage because... Okay, so he would be aware that this is not a humanoid target. The bolt of manslaying would not work. It would just be a normal bolt, bolt oh. so it would be wasted. It needs to be a humanoid target, so a human, an elf, a dwarf. Okay. A, a, a half orc. Yeah, it's too non humanoid to it's, really count. It's, it's a devil. It's a fiend, at least. He, he can okay. tell it's some. Right. For a I'm moment, he thought he, 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 he reached for it because he was like, oh, that's a lizard folk. And then he yeah, I'm seeing, the, I'm lizard. seeing the picture on the token. I'm like, that's totally just a. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I am using the picture of a lizard. Just I'm a using the lizard thing. folk. Okay. I'm yeah. using the picture I used for the lizard folk shaman. So. All right, well, for he will quickly swap out for just a standard one and let it fly. All right. Not sneak attack, so just nine piercing. Mm -hmm. All right. That's the end of his turn. It is. The Nurgled, uh, it's it's enormous. It's 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 a uh, 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 large, uh, pretty fat creature, but it has these big muscular legs, and it, it it squats down for a second and leaps up onto this beam pier mm -hmm. with, with 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 ease, um, and it's going to. I'm going to put Amila somewhere near the hole. Assuming the hole is much smaller than this entire chamber. Uh, the door uh, that he's left open, you can no longer see that flickering light, but you see it again in this thing's hands as it uh, holds its hands together and spreads its hands apart, holding two... Uh, uh, glowing red lights in its hands, connected by a, a crackling beam, uh, and it holds its hands out, and that beam reaches towards Muffin, who's closer. It's going to sit dry. No, you know, it's going to reach out towards Ray. It's still within feet. So yeah, it's going to try to siphon life right again. Uh... You need to make a DC. Uh, you need to make a, a wisdom saving throw. Right again. Okay. Shoot. Good stuff on that. It's all right. All right. That's a success. You take. Only five necrotic damage. Hmm. Uh -huh. 
What is he showing as a health bar? Green. Well, no, for some reason he's showing 52 out of 52 of something, but it's not his health, health. which is 33. What? No, his health is 52. This is Rat again. Oh! Sorry. What? Whose health is 30? Mine. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, Are you not at full health? Oh, I was. I just took yeah, off Rat again. the person. Okay. So that was five? That's right. That's right. That's right. I'm going to put you over. I'm going to put Emila over here because she's at the top, right? Yeah. That's five damage he took? Uh, yeah, five. Five necrotic. Okay, that's what I thought. Sorry. Ooh, we made these sheets pretty quick, so. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Um, and that's the end of its turn. Muffin? I don't. Does the Tabaxi have some kind of climbing ability? They do, yeah. Do they have a climbing speed? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So, so um, after falling down, uh, you uh, usually try to keep your claws pretty clean, but uh, you'll begrudgingly pull them out on these dirty ropes and start properly climbing up the rope, which you're able to do. You have a speed of 20 feet, uh, which means you'd be able to make it all the way up this rope. And you can begin climbing. So you, you, know, you have to use a little bit of, you know, first of all, standing up because you're, yeah. and then, yeah, I'm going to say you make it up to this rope in the next turn. Or you can dash and make it up. Uh, yeah, I, I, I want to I dash. I want to get out of here. <laughs> all right, so you pass Radigan and, uh, He's holding onto the rope with his other hand uh, uh, after firing the crossbow, and he lets go, allow you to climb up while he's reloading the crossbow. So you can make it. You can make it all the way to the top with your Phew. claws. I'm okay. I'm alive, guys. It's okay. <laughs> oh, uh oh! Accidentally, Zamila had two tokens. I deleted one of them, but. He must have been the one that had initiatives. Of it. What was her initiative? Uh, same as the same as. Oh, Amila. She was demon five. Devil. It was uh, it was muffin was that was tied with demon. Yeah, Amila had five. Five. Yep. Cedric is up at the top. He sees you uh, come up and then looks over at the glyph of warding. What's he doing? Uh, yeah, Cedric is um, probably uh, going to move outside of the range of the glyph of warding and just prepare to shoot whatever comes out. All right. So uh, well, we'll... Shoot, shoot a zombie or whatever comes out and right. survives the glyph of yeah um the the like thing having like doing stuff with two hands when you have a shield is really like unspecific in fifth edition so i'm not, like i'm not gonna say like he can't read this cross because he has the shield it's just a matter of like the, the shield is kind of strapped to his arm he can only use it while he's holding on to it as well so it's just like there for reinforcement but he can like kind of like for a second sure you know, that stand on the crossbow yeah we don't need to worry Nope. Plus, I gave him a crossbow shield, so it'd be real shitty if we just say, "Well, I can't yep. use it." Um, zombies. Zombies. <laughs> so the zombies are going to continue climbing up the ropes. Only, let's say, the four zombies make it to the top of the to the to the top beam full time. One. So one zombie makes it up to Radigan and is going to attack him. Mm -hmm. Two 
claw attacks. Yep. It's a 14 and a 20. 20 will definitely hit. One hit. All right. 14 will miss. Eight slashing damage to... Eighteen or eight slashing damage to Rick, not eighteen. All right. All right. Amela. Amela. Uh, Cedric and Muffin have backed away from the glyph of warding. Uh, it's just you and Radigan now. Radigan in the pit, you outside. Yeah. Yeah. She's only got a speed of 25. Um, Firebolt. The Nargolid is now, it's, its arms are still glowing and it's got its, it's got its hands like outstretched mm. towards the sky. Like it's conducting and right. it's, it's speaking in Infernal. You just hear it go, oh, God. The yeah. Yeah. And it's like conducting with its hands while the zombies crawl up the ropes towards Reddy. Mm-hmm. Oh man. Uh mm. But you can see they're not out yet, that's the problem. Oh. No, that's not gonna help. <laughs> Can I blindly fire a firebolt down the hole? Okay. Just sort of, just sort of like you know, uh, Star Wars style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> roll, roll, roll with this roll an attack roll with disadvantage. Okay. That's pretty good. <laughs> no, it's not. No, wait, no, that's bad. Disadvantage. <laughs> it's a natural one. So roll damage. Oh damn it! Because there's, I mean, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Radigan takes 14. Yeah, Radigan takes 14 fire damage. <laughs> he's, he's the one right under the hole. <laughs> if, he, if you would hit, I would have almost said it hit the zombie, but... Right. <laughs> oh, man. And she's going to stay put. Ah! Oh. Is that the end of her turn? That's her end of her turn. All right. Radigan. Radigan is going to... Holds his head. Looks up. He's <laughs> exactly. He's going to take a... Of his head now. Exactly. He's going to take a disengage and climb up the right. rope through the hole and scowl right. and rub his head and squeak angrily before uh, probably making it about that far. I don't... What's his speed? Sorry. Oh, uh, that's okay. It's okay. He he he'll be moving half speed up the rope, um, so yep. he cannot really make it very far. Yeah, he's still very much within the. Uh, he could be go thirty explosion. feet total, but let's um, just say that's it right there. It was yeah. uh, um, he would have had to use like fifteen to twenty feet of movement to get up the rope. Okay, so more like like five feet away from here. The, yeah, <laughs> or from the hole. On the top of the ground, he's on the ground. But he's yeah. gotten that far. Yeah, I'm. I'm kind of uh, glad you, you guys picked this strategy because it would have been complicated to fight in here, measuring the height mm -hmm. and whatnot. Did he get time to reload his crossbow though? Because if so, oh right. So he could use his. He, he would could use totally. an action. No, no disengage action. Oh, that's true. Never mind. Yeah, I didn't give him uh, cunning. Um, Amila, did you move back once you fired your firebolt? Amila never moved. She's always been. You didn't at the say edge of so. Bolt. I'd let you. I'd let you. I'd let you do it if you wanted, but but you didn't say so. No, she did not move back. She's at okay. the edge. Uh, of, she's at the edge of this twenty-five foot circle. So Amila and Radigan, the edge of the hole. You can hear the echoing voice of the Nergalid, uh, and you hear it stop talking, leap. You hear that. <laughs> It leaps up another, another uh, beam. 
Mm -hmm. um, and you know, because it's not using its action to attack, I'm going to say it leaps up again. Uh, Uh, Muffin? Anything? Or are you just staying waiting? Outside? Um, right, Muffin. Um, Muffin is gonna back up so he's out of the way range of that cliff recording. Okay. Um... What you eating? <laughs> what? What you eating? Oh, uh, frosted shredded beets. Nice. Muffin is... Gonna upcast summon undead wolf or why and get his ghostly fishy. <laughs> so you can you can drag the you can drag the token up mm -hmm. and uh uh just um actually you know what I can reuse a map. I can reuse a map from against the cult. I think it's actually really really relevant. Uh let me look. Yeah, yeah. Just some minor changes. I'm just gonna bring you right to it before I even change you. Sorry, you're gonna have to drag, drag the fish token again. All right, so so put your tokens on this map. That's a party one. It's the cult. <laughs> Their horse. Goodbye, party one. See you. See you soon. This is where they encountered the dragon, actually. This is the dike for the uh, entrance to the dungeon. This is where they encountered the dragon. So oh. you're up, you're up here. This is. I'll just say this is the top of the hill, and this is the hole. Cool. Okay. I'll shrink the hole a little bit. This hole would be smaller. It's not a perfect map for what for this, but it's close enough. It's better than the than the the board going across. The... Yeah, so you'd be, yeah, twenty foot radius. Oh yeah, so you would be around. This is not a big change in elevation. Yeah, just a yeah. slight, slight change. And it's... Um, And just for the record, I'm going to summon the skeletal version. Okay. Uh, do you have a, an, an idea to describe it? Cause I... Uh, yeah, I kind of imagine it's like the the ghost of all the fishes that Muffin has ever yeah. eaten, and he just like right. grips this gilded skull and sort of summons it. Okay. Uh, do you have an idea for how the skeletal version looks? Yeah, um, kind kind of like kind of like the picture, just like glowing bones. Oh, okay, color. all right. It cannot fly, I don't think. No, not the skill. Okay. Does it flop around like a magic card? Hmm. I. S interesting. It could be. It could be like uh, one thing I was thinking is it is the 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 skeleton of a fish. But the ribs are like posable, and so it kind of crawls around like a spider. Oh, cool! Ribs. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Um, anything we're forgetting here? Nope. I think that's it. So, uh, summon your spirit, Cedric. Uh, just waiting. Yep. Okay. Uh, the zombies start to ascend. Uh, one of them makes it out, not using its action because because it had gone. It's going to attack Amila. <clears throat> The 17 plus some things okay, that hits. Yes. Cool. 
Uh, oof, that's um, five, eight point uh, slashing damage. And eight, eight you said? Eight. Okay. And the second attack is a miss, because that's a 11. Yep. Um, and then using their actions, three, make it out. And you can, you can see others reaching their hands through the illusion, trying to scramble up. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Amila? Yep. Uh. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> what what kind of action do you have to use to detonate? I imagine playing something on her uh, loot, possibly. Maybe a discordant chord. You know, like the, oh, like the exploding piano gag in Looney Tunes. Oh, yeah. And hit that one note and it just goes. I can't find... Time we're trying. Yeah, since it's okay, I'm gonna say that you have to use a bonus action to the the glyph. Oh, it will be a bonus action. That's helpful. Yeah, <clears throat> not a re reaction though, unless you hold it. Or, mm -hmm. So you can't uh, you can't just do it on someone else's. Got it. Got it. Okay, that's also good to know. Um, uh, that means I need to get Radigan out of the way before we set it off. Okay, there are 24 of these things, plus the giant monster. Only three have made it out so far. I'm going to... Instead of setting it off, I'm going to attack this closest zombie twice. Mm -hmm. It looks like a relatively well-to-do village uh, person, uh, but with uh, uh, yeah, a dry skin pulled tight against the bones. Ooh, hair that's clearly grown a lot yep. uh, recently and the nails yep thirteen uh, oh both hit oh nice and yeah and as I turn to run, I quickly cast a Bardic Inspiration on Radigan, giving him a D8 to use on his next turn in case there's some sort of anything. So pass that to him. And she's got no more actions, so she's going to have to just run and take let him have mm -hmm. opportunity. Just as yep, he's back. That's a six uh twenty one. Twenty one hits. Uh but luckily, I rolled a one on damage, so that's a four slashing. Great. Right. 
Radigan. Radigan. <laughs> we'll attack this one nearest him. All right. Uh, I think. Let me check just to make sure. Yes, mm. he will. He will just sword attack. Hit. He will roll his d8 for damage. First off, and then add the mm. 10 to that. Oh, I see. Right, so 14 damage. Yes. Nice. And then he too. Oh, did I? Did I? Oh no! Did I take that off of his health? Wait, right. let me just do a plus fourteen. Oh. <laughs> uh, why did Rad? Did Radigan get the sneak attack damage? No, no, he got a um, bardic inspiration damage. Oh yeah. All right. Anything else? Uh, yes, he is going to. Take after his best friend and band leader, and run after her. That's uh, giving and giving opportunity. Four to hit. Uh, yeah. And roll another one for damage. That's four slashing. Four. All right. All right. Both just barely out of the. Radius now. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the zombies that are climbing up stop trying to climb for a second as the devil toad nudges past them. Uh, <laughs> uh, squeezing out. Of the hole. No, you know what? The devil toad does not do that. You just hear the you hear the devil toad's voice like backtrack. Uh, the devil toad's voice still uh, calling and commanding the zombies. Muffin, of course, understand. I'm just saying, like, rise, rise, my children of the night. <laughs> uh, but the voice gets fainter as you hear it jump down. The the three support beams again. Is Muffin? Comprehending languages, or does Muffin actually know Infernal? Muffin, know, well, yeah, your character may, may not know this, but, but yes. <sighs> Speaking of Muffin? Yes, I'm talking about Muffin. Muffin? Uh, Muffin uh, happened to learn Infernal in his study. <laughs> well, I'm saying it's Muffin's, Muffin's turn. Okay. Or is Muffin just 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 wait? Or... Uh, no. no. See zombies. Muffin, if it's Muffin's turn, um, mm -hmm. uh, Muffin is going to, um. Hold up a very expensive um, jewel and fire off a chromatic orb. Cool. At the closest zombie. All right, sixteen hits. And let's just do, uh, since it seems to be the theme, fire damage. Oh! Holy shit! So nineteen. And then he will command his his fishy to fire as well, and the uh, fish will like open up its mouth, and like two beams of energy will burst out towards the zombies. Uh, Which ones? So these two have been damaged already. This one looks really. Hard. None of your burnt zombies have come. That this one. And that one. All right. Uh, bump hit. It's uh, AC 10. 
<laughs> this one tumbles back down the hole, dead again. This one is now it's dead or it's very hurt. Whoops. Uh, that's it for my friend. Right. Cedric. Cedric, I guess, will fire his crossbow. Uh, both. He can only fire one crossbow bolt because it's oh, a crossbow. Oh, okay. So the first one hits. It does 11 piercing damage to which one? Uh, uh, the one in the back. The zombies. Uh, let's see. to here well several more oops that's just a that's just the picture should have took Four of them have an action. So I'm gonna dash over here. This one's gonna dash over here. <laughs> here. Dash. Here. And you can hear it several more scrambling down below. Oh, and um, yeah. those two are very badly <laughs> already. Yep. I think it's time. I think it's time, Muffin. Blow it. <laughs> Eight out of 24 are out. Yeah, six of those are not so, as So damaged. these two here, these two here are pretty badly hurt and they're within range. These three are within range. Mm -hmm. uh, none of these ones, these ones are all out of range. Yep. Uh, but then you can hear more yep. underneath, so, but you're not sure how. So she'll start picking on her lyre and hit that off note and it and the the, the the center of the the center of the mound will <clears throat> just dynamite blast. Alright, so roll the damage. Oh that's a it's uh three is it three D six? It's gotta be 68. Uh, oh, yeah. What level did you cast it at? Uh, just level three. Three. three or four. Three? Yeah. All right. So that's 5d8. 5d8 fire damage. That's what we're looking at. Right. These ones are dead.
I'm not going to delete any of the zombie tokens because I want to keep. I need to keep track of how many there are. Okay. So I'm going to move here. Uh, these three. This one is incinerated. These two take. Is it also reasonable to assume that? And then you hear shrieks. Say that? Is it yeah. also reasonable to assume that part of the hilltop is also blown away so we can see in? Or is that weird? Honestly, yeah. Darkness, I hadn't thought of that, but Darkness yeah. spell still in effect. Well, the spell doesn't necessarily prevent it from being exploded. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, let's say it's a slightly larger, a larger hole now. Cool. The center of the hole, what was the center of the hole is here. Mm -hmm. It's exploded out this way, the side that was on on the, uh, the cliff that was on. Yep. It's a little unstable now. Hmm. Cool. Uh, uh, that is a bonus action. And you hear, action, you hear shrieks. That, that's a bonus action. Yeah. So I could you hear still shrieks and snarls it. down below. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, do yeah, what you're doing on that figure. Do the rest of yeah, because I still would like to see if I can slash up a couple of these ones that are still alive. Four, 24 is on 10 of them are mauled. Fireball ones are knocked prone, so they uh, Sorry, I'll get to what you did in a second. That's fine. Against that guy. I didn't. I didn't factor in that this fight would take especially long just because I have so many things to manipulate. <laughs> Five. Eight. So. Twenty nine fire deal. Yes. From the fire from the glyph. Yes. Alright, what is it you did? I slashed that zombie a couple times. Probably oh, okay. missed Oh yeah, the one. you drew a little thing for me. Yeah. Missed the first, hit the second, seven piercing damage. Or yeah, seven piercing damage. Oh it's it it's got it's so almost dead. <laughs> it's as almost dead as you can get. Right again. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> He'll. Yeah. Snarl, squeak, and just slice that thing across its face. Um, I'm not sure if this 
sneak attack actually accounts due to Amila, Amila's being within five feet. It would have to, it could move, he could move up here and attack this one and get sneak attack, but this one's not within five feet. Of oh, I see. No, it's it's fine. I'll Those just, attack them. yeah, I'll just let him have the seven there. Five damage. Shoot. Not going to believe me, it's almost dead. Yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not. He has an offhand attack, by the way, if he's attacking with his sword. Wait a second, he does? He can use his dagger as a bonus action. I would love to do that. Right. That offhand dagger. All right. I am not one who knows how offhand stuff works. <laughs> Man. Okay. Four. Four piercing damage. Now it's actually dead. It had three hit points. <laughs> cool. So you kill. Well, you don't know. <laughs> A lot of the ones you killed are in the hole. <laughs> That's what we're hoping. A few of the ones you killed are in. Uh. With surprising speed, they ran towards you. That is surprising. Uh, you noticed, uh, I guess you don't know that much about Undead, but I'll say for you guys. It, they do not have undead fortitude. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> they just have a lot more health. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, I forgot to ask. Who's Muffin turn, something. It? It's yours. It's Muffin's turn. Oh. Hmm. Drinking some local cherry wine, which is pretty. Ooh. I've got cherry wine and I have cheer wine in the house. Cheer wine, I hear, is amazing, but I've never had it. I really like cheer wine. I like it more than cherry coke for sure. I heard that people that are huge fans of it are like ultra fans of it. Yeah, I don't think I'm an ultra fan, but I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. I have a can of coffee-flavored stout, local as well. That's cool. Yeah, I, I, I'm mixed on stout, but sometimes it's sometimes I love it. Muffin is going to misty step over yeah. this way, and then um, we'll firebolt. The zombie close. This one? Yeah. 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 Takes 13 fire. Oops. Um, the, the fish, um, muffin will tell it to walk. This two, three, four. No, it does. It is a creature, right? So we'll opportunity attacks. Uh, they can also take the disengage action. Yes, I, I just want to have that. So just, did it? Did it disengage or did? It, did no, it? it did not. So the zombie can take a attack of opportunity. Two attacks of opportunity. Cedric can use his reaction at once. Oh, yeah. Cedric would do that. 
it's a four. Twelve plus five. So the so I think the um I think the seventeen hits. Yep. Would um yeah, Cedric will use a fender. That would be six damage on the undead spirit. But Zero damage. The other attack? Uh, the the first one. Oh yeah, no, the, the first one missed. The second one hit, but it was okay. intercept. Undead spirit in the shape of a fish. <laughs> I. Uh... Oof. But Ooh. 14 damage towards, uh, say towards the same one. But 14 necrotic damage. Let me look. Not resist necrotic. I'm surprised at that. I was just going to say. Me too. Yeah. Phew. Okay, that is it for muffin and fish. Hmm. Uh, Cedric now? Yes, Cedric. Uh, do you... I think it was firing this crossbow last round. Do you require an action to draw a sword? Uh, it's like a free action. You can you can do one. You can draw a weapon okay. without it using any. It's when you get into like drunk drawing. Okay, then Cedric will draw his sword and take two swipes at the zombie in front of him. Both hit. Sixteen damage. And he'll just do it then. Okay. The zombies. So several more pretty burnt up looking zombies make it to the top. And <laughs> three out of six will get their actions to dash two three oh no three thirty feet away. you guys did this really smart this could have been this could have been extremely challenging if you do it this way And they don't get they don't get attacks. Yeah. Yep. The next ones will have. All right. I'm gonna cast compulsion. Sorry about the slight <laughs> formatting problems on that one. And I'm going to yell at the top of my voice. Oh, I know where you copied this from. Because it's like... Oh, wait, wait, if you copy it from, you know, from like a PDF. No, it was it was a direct drop and drop from the SRD. I don't understand oh, why they, the they, they replaced okay. all the spaces with tabs and it messed everything up. Anyway, I'm going <clears> to... <throat> I'm going to swing my loot around because, of course, I've got to play music. And I'm going to make up something on the spot, which basically comes down to everybody who is dead and not friendly to us. Back down in the hole. Just get going. Now. Strum, strum. Whoa. Um, giving 
five Fiction. chances. Six if you count Radigan for opportunity attacks. And just biding us some more time in general. Oh, damn. They, they don't say that they can't be charmed. That is also awesome. Right. Um, Let's spend a music bonus section to designate a direction that is horizontal to you. No? What does that mean? I don't. Oh, if it's like lemmings, go that way, and then a bonus action. Go, yeah, yeah, go, go north, go west, but say go Not down. Like, oh, you can't say like up. Okay. Interesting. Uh, so it sounds like you can designate one direction for all of them. Yeah. Each affected target. But they all need to make wisdom saving throws. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Well, fuck. How many? What's the range? Thirty feet. Thirty feet. Which yeah. is basically to the it's, middle of. The it's hole. all of them. All of them it's that are them. above ground, I would say. Yeah. That's uh, four, six. Nine. I'm gonna split that into three. So three groups of three. And you need to beat a fourteen. You're saving those together. DC fifteen. Fourteen. Fourteen. Wisdom. Charisma, actually. Minus two. Oh, your wisdom, yes. So that's a sixteen and eighteen minus two. Okay. Th Eleven. Thirteen minus two. Mm -hmm. so they fail. So group one over here. Cedric succeeds. Man. Two over here with you. These 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 three. The two in melee with you and this one here. Mm -hmm. They fail. But the whole three. Let's do. Uh, these three, you, you instruct them to run north away from you? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. You were talking to the ones here. This is a whole bit. All. Right. Wait, do they do this on their turn? Uh, each affected uses on its next turn, yes. Okay. And uses its max distance. It yes. can take an action before it moves. Oh, dang. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's interesting. <laughs> the hole is the best place to be. Go down back into the hole where you shall see everything that you need. I guess they put that there so you can so creatures can take a disengage action if they want. Hmm. Oh, okay. Hmm. So I would have worded it as creature can take the can only only take the that the dodge or disengage or the, the dash or disengage it. Hmm. But maybe for some reason they have to be able to attack it. Yeah, I don't know. Um uh, uh, right, Radigan. <clears throat> Radigan is going to hmm. Just be, like, he's a thief. He's a, yeah, he's not, like, a barbarian, but he's kind of mad. So he's going to just sword yeah. attack this one. Hit. And that is sneak attack, so this one's dead. Cool. Anything else? That should be good. Anything else? I don't think so. Uh oh. Okay. He does have his dagger though. Correct? Yep. Yep. Then okay. Five feet of movement that way and a dagger attack. I keep forgetting he's got that. Alright. Attack. 
gag order. Hit, no need to do damage because okay. it's one hit point. And, uh, right, Muffin. All right. Muffin is going to charge up another firebolt. You know, these three are going to run. These, this one's going to run down here, but these three by Cedric. Good. The one to the yeah closest one. Yep. Right. Um. Undead fishy at muffins. Uh, poking is going to uh fire at these crispy ones down there. Oh, are those ones gonna run? Uh, the two that are in melee with Cedric are not going. Okay. Uh, the fishy is gonna move kind of over this a little bit. Um, and fire one bolt. This one, one bolt. Fish. First one at the middle. Yeah. Second. Yeah. Correct. Fish. Thirteen. Sixteen. Okay. Sixteen. Sixteen. All right. That is it. Cedric. All right, Cedric, swing your mighty sword. Yeah. Yeah. Waiting for. <sighs> Mm. Might have to do a sort of done with the song. I guess I really should have. <laughs> I can't. Now that I really think about it, there's not many ways this could have gone quickly. <laughs> uh, yeah. It went down on the first hit, so it's a, it's a... Can he swing at the last one? Yep. Okay. And then that, 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 that uh, hit, and it did a little damage. He swings, cleaves through that zombie, and then he just steps up, swings up. And, uh, that... Um, okay. Two... Cedric's gonna gonna form a, a wall with the undead fish. Nothing, nothing that says this thing can't take an opportunity to exit. Um, Ooh! Sorry. sorry, I thought it was dead. Um, no. Okay, Cedric will just stay there. Ah, oh, fuck. Finally hit Cedric, but it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Call That's me. it for Cedric. Let me get a lot. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. Your Wait, what? It's your zombie's turn, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how that happened. Alright. So the zombies, uh, this one's going to disengage. Go 30 feet in this direction. These three are just going to dash 30 feet. North. Or 60 feet north. Uh, they'll go, they'll go. I just don't want to take them off the map, so I'm going to do something with Blake with having them do the dodge if they get here. They're all done. And uh, while they're running away, most of the zombies are all out of the hole. They're not there. I'm just
<laughs> oh my gosh. I try to yell again, but it doesn't work because I'm out of spell slots for that one. Um. <clears throat> that's a shame that's a fourth level spell. I feel like it. Oh, but you still you still have concentration. So I shouldn't work up. I shouldn't be the ones that. Still, or your compulsion. Mm. What does Emila do? Yeah, I'm just looking over some stuff. Hmm. No, that's dumb. I'm not going to use that one. <laughs> Instead, I... Oh, man. Okay, who's being flanked? <clears throat> All right, fire bolting the one that's. No, gonna... Oh man, I'm going to fire bolt this. So these this these one ones are right here. If I can, very the the ones that have red dots on. Them. Yeah, right. yep. I'm gonna try to fire bolt this one that's just to the left of the hole. This one? Yep. Yep. All right. Under under compulsion. Yeah. Just in the back. Oh, three. That's yeah, nothing. What the heck? May I make the extra attack? With firebolt, it's just the one. No, it's like a sword attack or something with this one nearest. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> okay. And make it a dagger attack. That's fine. Uh, so you can either do firebolt or two weapon attack. Can okay. Fire then, bolt then we'll then we'll ignore the dagger attack. It'll be the firebolt right. and just leave it. <clears throat> All right, that's it. All right. Rat again. Rat again. He gets out his sword and dagger and just swipes the left hand one with the sword and then back hand stabs toward the one behind him there. All right. Shoo. Shoo. This one will be sneak attack. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that one's very dead. How about? Top one takes four. Four pierce. Yep. Muffin! Fireball again! If you can. And then a black dragon climbs out of the hole. No, it doesn't. <laughs> that was just on. It was already on the map on the GM layer. <laughs> From last time. Oh, gosh. But a fire demon could totally crawl out of the hole. Yeah, it might help you for a minute. Uh, uh, muffin. Muffin. Muffin.
Uh, Muffin is going to see these zombies come up to his poor little uh, undead fish. Uh, and he's going to cast magic missile. Pew, pew, pew. Um, one of them towards the dead one, and then two of them towards the the knife. Right, for for thinking of you. <laughs> They're like calling your shot there. The dead one. Uh, it's uh, not dead yet, but the crispy one. Yeah. All right. Unfortunately, slightly miscalculated. It's still. Oh no. Um. Uh, little fishy is going to ignore its own peril, and uh shoot at this one here right. and that one there. Four. Pew. Pew. Both hit. Pew. Pew. This is, you're rolling uh, Deathly Touch. I'm sorry. It's okay. Yeah. I think this is the first. I think before you were doing Grave Bolt. Yeah. yeah. And those both still hit. But I would have used the rolls from before because it's the same attack. Ah. Yeah, they're both dead. Uh, Muffin will move to three, five, six, and get seven. Um, and that's it for Muffin, that's it for the fish, the fish. Um, I'm just gonna stay there since you see. Cedric. Cedric. Um, despite Muffin coming over, uh, Cedric is gonna go over this way <laughs> and hack this zombie in the back. Hmm. Chop. Hit. And chop it again. The zombies. Uh, this one's gonna turn around and try to Cedric while this one tries to eat the fish. <laughs> Natural 20 against Cedric. I've been, been hoping for something like that. He, he's got the same picture as the shield guard that Party 1 had, and I, it was the same thing. I could never hit him. So oh. this is very satisfying for me. You're, you're, uh, I'm, 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 I'm taking it out on you. <laughs> uh, I rolled a five plus four plus three is, so 12 damage, 12 slashing damage to Cedric. Fish, it's a natural one. It does not eat the fish. Um, this one over here is going to attack, uh, Radigan. Two, not hit. Uh, oh wait, they each get two attacks. I forgot. So I'm gonna say this one's second attack missed. This one's first attack missed. Second attack is a 16 plus. Yeah, plus five. Um, that's going. Six damage to the fish. Uh. Against Radigan, another natural one, and a natural 20. Radigan takes 7, 8, 11 slashing damage. Oh, man. And the other two, which direction are they running? I said the other four. Are they still running? 
they're still under your spell. Okay. Uh, oh, you know what? They get to make wisdom saving. Forgot about that. All right. Fail. Success. Whoa, mine at that. Fail. Fail. So this one shakes out of it. But what direction are the others? Uh, I mean, <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, I had kind of intended for them to crawl down into the hole, but I'm kind of okay with them just standing there doing nothing and not moving at all. I th Can you command them to do that? No, it doesn't. I don't know. I'll let you. I'll let you do that. Let's. I, I, I'd rather you do that than have them. <laughs> so. Yeah. Well, I'll, 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 I'll let you come in. And just stand still. Oh wait! Until the spell ends, you can use a bonus action on each of your turns to designate the direction that is horizontal to you. Right. So they don't actually you do use anything. your bonus action. No. Oh yeah. So they're not doing anything. Wait a minute. But what happens if you don't designate a direction? Uh, it does not say. It just, I guess it does what it wants. Yes, it does what it wants. I would let you, I mean, you didn't use your bonus action, right? Correct. So I guess it well, does what, what it wants. What direction do you want them to go? <laughs> Away from us. So northeast. Right. So they run north. I'm going to run them to the edge of the map. Just okay. Uh, uh, me a lot. Mm hmm Let me was going to double swipe this guy here. You know, it works because they have to use their movement to run north, but there's nothing that says they can't use their action to back south. Right. <laughs> Double swipe this one next to Radigan here, and myself, of course. What a weird spell. It is. It's not bad, it's just weird. Uh, both hit. Alright. This is this one? Yeah. Five. Alright. That is a not thing. quite dead, but close. And I'll point at the right zombies ahead. up there and I'll make them go the same way. Just keep running into that wall called the edge of the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just stay away from us. Yeah. You you command them to run north and they are like resisting it as they run. They, they're like not running because they're like turning around. They're, they're using their action basically to resist. <laughs> what that means is that that's my reflavoring. Have you ever played low? Feet. Have you ever played Load Runner, the uh, Load Runner online, oh. where you've got these mad monks that it, basically you can fake them into climbing up and down and up and down the ladder just because of your own proximity? <laughs> right, so much right. Fun. Uh. All right, Rad again. Um, yeah, he's gonna. He was pretty impressed with that little double move he did. Slash the one next to Amila, backstab the one behind him. All right. Both hit. So. Oh man. <laughs> Twenty. He just cuts this one in half. One. Yeah, he misses the other one a little bit. A little pin break. Other one takes one. Mm -hmm. Now the funny thing about sneak attack is oh no never mind the north one wouldn't get sneak attack. Right. And that's it for him. Muffin. 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 Right. Um. Up, up, up. Muffin is just gonna move up a little tiny 
bit, get a good bead on this one here, and do the old firebolt to it. Pew. Seven? Uh, yeah. Which one? Uh, the one with the red. Hey. And then under his direction, the undead fish is going to disengage and then move to three, four, and that's Disengage. Okay, that's the end. Okay. Sadric will swing his sword. On zombie. Uh, that's 16 damage. Two, one. Still alive. Fireball would have killed it though. Okay. Um, Tedrick will stay right there. It's gonna beat its head against this wall a little more. <laughs> and it rolls a. That's a 16 plus 5, so yeah, that's 21. Is that his AC? The, the token says AC is 11. That's not true. I think his AC is 20. So it's for four damage. But Cedric takes four slashing. Oh, and no. it gets a second attack. Uh, which is a four. So. And the other one over here is going to attack right again. Mm -hmm. Their last turn, I'm sure. Three and oh, a seventeen plus five. Uh, so that's seven slashing damage to Radigan. Oh, dang! And then, how do you finish them off, Mila and Radigan? Um, Mila and Radigan attack last one. That's yeah, Amila's gonna come over. And just run it Muffin. through. Alright. Muffin and Cedric finish off this one. Uh, the uh, undead spirit. Yep. All the zombies are dead. Yay. And the night gets very quiet all of a sudden. Mm. Uh, uh, we're going to have to do a third part on this one. So. <laughs> Our second part. Not a third part. <laughs> Oh, definitely only a second part. There's no way this one. Yeah, because we have our big demon guy. Right. I mean, yeah. Do you, do you want to try and do this one before then, like during the week, or mm, are you okay waiting till after? I, I would be okay doing it before then if 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 there's a, an opportunity. Yeah, I think I'd be fine with that. Um. <laughs> I would like to burn a first level spell slot and cure Radigan up. Actually, no, he's really down. I'm going to go second level. Yeah. So, eight health. Let's see all the zombies down here. Here, little Kel Shelf zombies. the bottom of the map. Oh, oh wow. Whoa. I think, I think that's 24. Let me see. Awesome. <laughs> if it's not 24, then one of them is missing somewhere. Damn. It's 21. Okay, so something happened. Well, oh, we've got three I that forgot are about these three up here. Bonking well, that's the fine. They, they're forced to run in a circle and they all have really bad <laughs> really bad wisdom, so you can finish them off from afar with cantrips. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, yeah, okay, that is all. That is 20. 
<laughs> I wouldn't yeah. have been too surprised if one of them lost in translation between the two maps. Um, right. But no, I it looks like all, them all. Yeah, they're all there. Was that? I I I don't mean. I'm not asking this in like a subconscious way because I wouldn't. It's not my fault because <laughs> it was in the module. Was this fun, fighting a, a thousand little shits? I don't know. It was. It was. It was fun, like the first two spells. Yeah. And and then it was just kind of. Uh, okay, it's a little. It's a little. I mean, I think I think apox apocalypse spells. It was definitely yeah. worth it, but then it's just like pinprick yeah. pinprick the rest one at a time. Oh no. But yeah, no, it was. I thought it was okay. All Otherwise, right. if this if I ever get into a situation where I have to face a Doing something like this again, uh, I, I will plan group stuff ahead of time, like how mm -hmm. to do the saving throws and the uh, the group attacks. Yeah. So they'll they'll like attack together, not yeah. uh, do individual turns and stuff. Isn't Maybe like, like up the number of zombies but lower their health and give them one health each, but make more of them. Right. Isn't there like doesn't does D and D have the dungeon world um, command armies? big over our like story mm. art mechanics no you know you know what we we fought in 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 this other server is a like a swarm of zombies like a crowd of zombies as a, mm. one individual creature oh yeah i thought about like doing swarm creatures but that like had a instead of a token they just affected an area basically with themselves because i always thought it was a Right. Swarms right. were locked into a ten foot. Yeah, if, if you translated this into a couple swarms of zombies, that yeah, at least okay. would have been more co co cohesive. All right. So yeah, I, I just uh, yeah, in the future, if, if, if I'm faced with one of these again, I'll try. I'll, I'll do my best to try to group them up. Yeah, it was it was it was it was fun getting down there and doing like the fireball into the yeah. swarm of them, and then the glyph of warding. Mm -hmm. oh, I, I I think it was really exciting. You you, even though even though it was because of a rule that we forgot about, very exciting when you fell down. Mm. <laughs> yeah, because that would have been kind of a cool character death if you had fallen yeah. down there and taken. A bunch of zombie attacks while the rest of your party futilely like tried to save you. Mm -hmm. Futilely. It would have, yeah. Yeah. And 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 as a one shot, it it would have. Yeah. yeah. What these this is what these characters are made for, kind of. That I'm trying to. Not a not a very serious character. Uh, yeah. Muffin, the huge tabaxi. <laughs> So yeah, um, uh, do you want to try to do this uh, during the week? Sure. sure. Yeah. It it should be a lot shorter because the, the last like, I mean, it can't be more than fourth of the of the adventure. Time. It might it might be a little long, mm -hmm. but you, uh, what do you do r right now after the uh, zombies are done? Are you attempting to rest? Because right. you don't see or hear anything else coming. Seems like you've bought the town, the village, another day at least. Yeah. Um, I feel like a short rest at the very least. Just because we never did confirm. Yeah, that the, the devil demon, toad is still down there. The demon lord in the bottom. It's like, yeah, we can't just go to sleep and pretend he's not still there fuming about things. So... I would say a short rest at least, just so we can heal up a little bit. Prepare for a short rest and probably set up the dome to allow that mm -hmm. yeah. more easily. Mm. Your undead spirit will disappear during the rest, I think, because it only lasts an hour. Yep. But the, I do hope that the 300 gold skull isn't consumed by the fucking spell. No, no, okay. it's not. It is, it is reusable. <laughs> that would be terrible. I didn't have you do concentration checks. I don't remember that. Did I ever get hit? Oh. <laughs> no, I don't think you did. 
and you did. Uh, you, the, you're you're playing like uh, you're playing kind of like uh, like like Vea. Just just don't get hit. Right. <laughs> Gotta take care of them. You go pick up next. Uh, yeah, I mean, we can think about when, when, during. Oh, yeah, roll hit this. Out of curiosity, what is a um, oh, the companions have hit dice like you do? Yeah. Okay, so I'll give them seven D, whatever, plus whatever. So you don't need to keep track of it in deep because you're level seven, and you have a lot of hit mm -hmm. dice. Yeah. If you end up using a lot, we can do the map. Right. Oh, I meant to mention this one shot to party one so they could spy, they could eavesdrop if they were available. Mm -hmm. I, I knew they weren't available today, mm -hmm. obviously. Be doing, would be doing the other thing. Um, be doing battle. That's not bad. Um, yeah. I meant to mention it to them so they could they could spy on. It's okay. I'm gonna leave the, I'm gonna leave those zombies there. Oh my gosh, rat again. Poor guy. His wounds are chafing as he tries to get a nap in. What's his constitution modifier? Oh, I don't know. I think it's plus one or plus two. Hmm. Who? Yeah, it's plus Radigan. one. Yeah, it's plus, plus one. Plus one, so, so heal an additional three points. Okay. Oh, and are you singing a song of rest? Ooh. I mean, why not? I just guess I should. Right. I think that's an additional <laughs> D8. All right. To everyone? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, a D8. Your song. Without realizing I even still had it, I was like thinking, "Yeah, she'll just I'm sit back and sing." I'm much more ready to songs. remind. Yeah, I'm much more like ready to remind people of their abilities on a shot because like we just made these characters and they're yep. level seven. Yep. It's fine that you're forgetting stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't even write that one down. <laughs> All right. Yeah, if we're taking a short rest, Muffin is going to do the whole uh, arcane recovery thing and right. get a couple of spells. Right. I said recently, you know, when I uh, one of the in-person one shots in New York, I, uh, that there was a player who showed up, never played D&D &D before, um, and, and she asked, like, well, what's the most fun? I was like, I, I, I said fighter. I said, in my experience, I think I've, I think I've had the most fun fighter. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I realized later, I think it might be wizard. I think I might have the most fun playing wizards that are like wizards with low wisdom scores. That's my <laughs> gem. <laughs> like wizards with a minus one, minus two, minus three. I mean, wizards have the most toys to play with. That's kind, yeah, of, the, yeah. that's kind of the thing. It's thrilling being that weak. That too. Being that sort of an open wound, anything will kill you. <laughs> Yeah, Muffin and Cedric yeah. also get the 1d8 health increase from Yeah, little... so you rolled 2d8. Just, just, just 3. To, uh... Yeah, everyone gets plus 3 health. Ah. Okay. That's how I usually do it, because it's the same song. For... I got it. Here's yep. the same song. I don't know that it specifies. Maybe it specifies. Um, all right. Uh, yeah, we'll talk in the chat about it. Okay. Do the next one. See ya. Cool. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, yeah.